Hello everyone, hello Scouts and welcome to the Scout Group meeting. I hope you're all doing well. Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are having a good one. Thank you to everyone watching live with me. And if you're watching on the replay, if I leave this video up, thank you so much for watching there as well. Leave a comment or don't. Stay silent. Do whatever's best for you. Don't let me tell you what to do. You're an independent person. You don't need me dictating your life. Hello. Let me scroll up and say my highs by name. Hi, Badama. Hi, Just the Lurker. Hi, Dylan. Hello, Helene. You're bored? Well, I'm glad I can entertain. And I did have a good birthday. Thank you. I got a cold on my actual birthday, which was annoying, but it's fine. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Dank Super. Oh, is it getting hot in here? Or is it just me? Hi, C. Morton. How are you? Hi, Maggie. I hope you're doing well. Oh, I love it when you guys use the emojis. You're taking a mental health break? I feel you. I feel you. Hi, Panda. Hi, Shayna. You'll be here for call soon. No worry. Thank you so much for dropping in when you could. Hi, Lucy Jane. You're listening as long as you have signal, but you're in the middle of the deep dark. Look at you. Touch grass. Go on, Lucy. Touch some for me. I'm robot. Oh, one sec. No! Ah! Is that better? When I'm robotic, my go-to is take it out and blow in it like you would with the old PS4 games. You bought the butter pipe? I'm very jealous. I wish I smoked. It looks so much fun. I'm so jealous that I don't. Um, I really wanted to get the chocolate lighter. It looks very fun. Hi, Professor Plum. Hi, Izuta. Did I say that right? Hi, Naya. How are you doing? Yes, you're good. Oh, thank you so much for letting me know, Lurker. Did you catch uh, the eclipse online? I watched it vaguely. We didn't have it in the UK. Uh, you couldn't see it anywhere or whatever, so that was a bummer. I didn't know. I got all excited. So, you know, whatever. I'll just stick to the only eclipse I care about. The Twilight Eclipse. Love that. It's the only thing that gives me love. Uh, oh, God. Notifications coming from. So fucking popular, man. It was an ad. I got an ad. Hi. Blow into the Nintendo 64 games. I'm a blower, not a shower. It's true. It is true. Uh, okay, I think that's everyone. I think I've said the hellos. And we have a lot to get into today. So we seem to have had two psychotic breaks, you know. You get a psychotic break. You, like opera, opera, fucking opera. Like opera, she's handing them out like it's a special, it's a specialty. You know, like it's a McDonald's free toy. Everyone gets a psychotic break with every order. Clouds here are so, so no eclipse here in the Netherlands and we are still here. World is not gone yet. Not yet. I was looking really excited for the, um, the rapture. I was getting all ready. I was in my, I was in my ceremonial robes. I was very excited, but you know, never mind. Whatever. I'll just be sad about it, I guess. Guess I'm stuck on earth for a bit longer. Psychotic break day, indeed. So we're going to start with the many community. I did save these to try and show you them properly, but my computer shenanigans twitter because she's amazing and had them all saved so we can go back because she did tweet and delete as our girl likes to do i guess the psychotic break had a time limit on it or something mr nobody welcome back it was cloudy in texas you didn't see anything we even have i live near greenwich and in greenwich we have that's where the actual um like the time like the line there's like a line painted on the floor it's the Greenwich Mean Time line. So that's where the line is. And they've got a big observatory up there. And even they said they released like a statement being like, yeah, even we can't see it. So I was like, great. If they can't see it, I've got no chance. Hi, Mr. Nobody. How are you doing? Uh, uh, da, da, da. You're not late, Del. You're not. You're still on time. You're still here. When she went quiet. Yeah, she was definitely going back for sure. This is what I was saying online. Okay, here's my thoughts. Here's my feelings. This is what I think happened. Please put on your tinfoil hat and short tape. So I thought this is what I think happened. She had she was banned off YouTube for the eight days, seven, eight days, whenever how long it was, whatever the fuck. And she was so fucking bored. She had no one to talk to because Salab wasn't there. She said it herself. Her YouTube hug box, jerk off circle are her friends, her therapists, and her job. She had nothing to do. She didn't even have reason to eat out because she couldn't record a video, even though if she was clever, she would have done a bunch of pre-recorded videos during the week. And then that way she would always be a week ahead. But she's not clever. So I don't know why I'd even thought of that. So she could have done that. She didn't. I think she was so fucking bored. And 
I think she wants to, she wants to live in Canada. Gun to her head, if she had to pick, she would pick Canada, right? But she's got to pretend she loves the dick or whatever. So she manages, I think she got calls her family. She's like, oh my God, have you seen the state of my thumb? If you haven't, please go look. Have you seen my thumb? I can't feel my toes. My eyes are to use codes, zip codes. I'm dying. I need to come home. And I think that's when her family are like, oh shit. Here it is. This is the final call, right? I think they make her an appointment. Hi, Drama Llama. I think they make her an appointment. So I think the appointment was real, but it was made by her family. Because she all I think she mentioned the appointment the day she was already home or just before that, which means she had to have made it within 20 seconds of landing. I think it was pre-made for her. And then her family have paid for her ticket, right? They've definitely 100 percent They probably also sold it as a birthday present to kind of alleviate some of the costs. I don't know who the fuck's buying family members £2,000 flight tickets, but it ain't my fucking family. That's for damn sure. And they love me, so I don't know. I think they bought her the plane ticket and flew, and she came back and had sold it to them as a, I'm dying, I'm 40, I've had a redemption, I've seen the light, and it wasn't Jesus coming to take me. I've got to change, otherwise I'm going to die, right? So she comes back, and then she's like, panicking over Salah because obviously he's dick deep in something and so she goes back if I was her family if I was her family right and I had just paid out for her airfare made her an appointment that she's not going to cancel she's just going to be a no call no show I want a refund for my ticket purchase and I want reimbursements and interest added are you fucking joking me are you ca- you, know, you can be impulsive all you want, Chantel, but you're not being impulsive on my credit card. No, you are not. You can be impulsive with your own goddamn fucking credit. Not in my world. You would 5150 her? You'd have to get a very big net <laughs> and some horse tranquilizer. I'm lucky to get $50. Barely. My sister didn't even give me a card. But she's not very... She hates Safi. My sister's very... Um, my sister didn't say I love fucking years. She wouldn't say it to me because it just... It doesn't cringe her out. It embarrasses her. She says it now that she doesn't live here, which I find very sweet. But yeah, my sister, I didn't even get a fucking card. But she's not a, she's not a card person. I mean, she wasn't lying about dying. She wasn't, no. If Salah had bought the ticket, it would be one way. If Salah had bought the ticket, it'd be one way. What you say sounds all true. Yeah, I think so. I think her family definitely paid for it. And if I paid for it and you've gone back after four days... I'm not buying you another one. You're stuck. Either you're walking back, hitchhiking, or getting a camel, because there's no goddamn way I'm paying for you to come back. Solara's dick deep in the crevices between the couch cushions. If she goes back, and there's a new couch, I'm logging off forever. If if she goes back to Kuwait, and this man has bought another new couch, I'm done. I'm gone. Leave me alone. I'm not coming back. So she went back to Canada, Mr. Nobody, but she's going back to Kuwait now. And it wasn't a visa hop, guys. I don't think it was a visa hop. I think she genuinely wanted to go back to Canada. But you know what she's like. The moment she was in Canada, she was like, oh, my God, he's going to cheat on me again. He's going to try and shit on another woman again because that's what he's into. Um, And God forbid if Chantel's going to let him shit on anyone other than her. So she ran back. Uh, Is Pee Pee Poo Poo here? Oh, my God. Hi. Uh, my parents loan me money but not give it it stops sometimes dang Chantel stop using your family for this kind of stuff and you need to remember as well last time she went back over Christmas she was staying at home and I don't think she likes staying at her mum's house because her mum gives her rules she's grown a backbone since the thing with Marty happened and so Chantel's not allowed to go live from her but you'll remember the last and you know Chantel she doesn't like rules last time she was there her family Chantel said this with her whole flabby chest she just said it like it wasn't embarrassing to convince her to unload the dishwasher they had to leave her a note and some money to get her to are you joking are you kidding me hi gilly witchy how are you doing how are you doing i'll change my phone change the lock sell the we're not even accounting for the two grand worth of work done on the kia unless that car got new tracks it's not going to do anything blood cop bees yeah, the ticket was definitely one way. So God knows how much they have to paying back. I need to cough one second. If there, hi world, those world. If there's a new couch, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, does he seriously like shit? I'll explain the couch very quickly, Mister Nobody. We have a virgin in our midst. Salah is Chantel's husband, and last time when Chantel went back to Canada because she was going to go to the doctors and take 
advantage of the free healthcare system because she's a Canadian citizen. Salah cheated on her, like, over text message with another woman. He told this other woman that he wants to shit on her. He wants to um, make her drink his pee, make her eat his poop. Um, the girls... And we had, like, proof of all these text messages. He, she said that he, like, ejaculated over their couch and their couch was a bright velvet blue so you, you're not getting that crusty out and so when Chantel came back to Kuwait he had to get a whole new couch um thanks I can't imagine begging my family for money at 40 my mum did that to my grandpa even when I was little and I thought it was weird taught me how to be completely independent I can't I, I, I get it like I do understand especially when you live in such low income areas it really is just part of the culture to like I borrow 20 from you, next month you borrow 20 from me, and it just happens, it really is, like, I've kind of grown up like that, just, you borrow then you give, it's just something I've grown up on, I don't see anything wrong with that, what I see wrong with is Chantel wasting people's money like it's her own money, that, that, same ticket, for me, if someone buys something for me, let's say, like, I don't know, they buy me a trip to Disneyland, or because they paid if i waste my own money that's fine i can waste my money i can't waste someone else's money i didn't work for it i didn't earn it i can't I, you fake being happy you stay in canada for at least a month to take to make your family think that you at least appreciate the money and it's gone to good use right i need uh to take a sip i'm very sorry exactly hi ben just been here since the start, and I'm reading up on the adventure. I'm making my D&D players. Oh, very fun. I recently got to do a commission of someone's D&D character. It was like a character sheet. It was very fun. I enjoyed doing it, so I'm sipping. Are we starting to GoFundMe for your boyfriend to procure another girlfriend, or will you life insurance cover it? I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. So we're going to read some of her community tab posts. So while she was in Canada, uh, she was community tabbing like crazy because she's not allowed to go live when she's at mummy's house. I think her and Shmi got into a huge fight. If they didn't, I don't think she went back because of Shmi. I don't think they had a fight and then she decided to go back. I think she decided to go back and then the fight happened. Like the fight was a result of Shmi being like, what do you mean you're going back? I just paid two grand on my credit card and now you're leaving again. I think that's that's my opinion. I think the fight happened after she decided to return home. Um, so we're going to read the messages. She went crazy. She had her words, not mine. Cersei. I love it the most. Okay. My PC is being run by a cockroach on a wheel. It's ridiculous. Okay. Anakin's over on Twitter for saving these. Like our foodie does. She tweeted and... Head over. It's taking ages. I've got the spinning MacBook wheel of death. At least it's pretty colours, you know? Okay, share my screen. Yes, please. <coughs> Sorry, big cough. My kids have always known they get two pots of cash from me, no more. Their first car and the quarter of the cost of their home deposit. Oh, that's very lovely for them. See, we just don't have that kind of... I've never really grown up with that kind of spare income. Like, you just live day to day. You're casting Yabba as Smee. Is Yabba going to do it? That's going to be so fucking funny. <laughs> Hi, Jamie. That would be hilarious. <laughs> oh, that's so great. That sounds more plausible that Shmi would be mad after she wanted to go back. That's what I thought. Hi, Blondie. How are you? Okay, let me share screen. So it's taking ages to load. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go. So, can we let's see if we can... Can you guys read that fine? Or should I zoom in a smidgen? Let me know. What do you think? What do, what do we think? Can, you, can we read it? Okay, I'm going to read it out. <clears throat> so this was after she did her first live back in Canada. She was kind of baiting for money by saying that she was going to get her cat back. Oh, also, sorry. She was talking about wanting to take Sam back from the foster home because apparently Sam wasn't getting along with the other cat. 
So I guess now that she's going back to Canada, fuck you, Sam. Uh, enjoy living with a cat that doesn't like you and fighting. <clears throat> Glad she cares. You know, love that. What a great pet owner. Hello. All right, I'm going to do my, my fun, skinny voice. <clears throat> Hello, I've had many people ask me for my PayPal info. I see a lot of creators put theirs in their video descriptions. Yeah, we put it in our descriptions. We don't put it on the community tab post. It's it's there. It's like a treasure hunt. If you want to find it, it's there. But I'm not going to alert you to it, you know. <clears throat> and I decided it's a good idea for those who want to send some support. All contributions will be kept private, and I will always leave a personal thank you message to those who do send me something. Thanks, guys. See you again soon for more beezing with her PayPal. This is so stupid. So stupid. Hi, Lisa. How are you doing? I'm glad you're here lurking. This is so stupid. Everyone, do you know how easy it is to lose a PayPal? I've lost two, right? If you don't know, I used to do sex work, but it was like online sex work. I was a Findom, which is a fini financial dominatrix with other domination stuff. And I got a PayPal also. Oh, don't we all have PayPal, Celine? Don't we all? And it is so... PayPal is very, very anti-sex work. Um, and so if you leave... If you leave any kind of message on your Panda or the... On your Panda, oh my God. On your uh, transaction. And PayPal recognises it as whatever. They will take your PayPal down. No ifs, ands or buts. You can't. I've lost two PayPals. And one of my PayPals at the time... This was about five years ago. I had £400 in there. I couldn't access that £400 for 180 days. Do you know how long 180 days is? It's a long fucking time. It's a long time. Um, they just take it away so quickly. I don't. Nothing even like super scandalous was left with my notes. They can just kind of tell when they're shifting. Especially if you post um, the PayPal in places as well. I don't know how they detect it. They just do. She's going to lose her PayPal. Am I late? Brit, you're late. I guess it's I guess it's time for a punishment, Brit. It's been a while since I've punished you. Uh, so, yeah, she's going to lose her PayPal, for sure. I also want someone to send her, like, money. For, this is the one time I advertise giving Chantel money. Someone should send her money with, like, a, a very specific but easy-to-do feeder request. And then be like, oh, once the request is complete, I will send you another 20 quid or whatever. And see if she does. You obviously don't send the money, and see if she does it. But yeah, I feel like she's going to lose her PayPal. Like people are going to do what they did to Shani, which is where they send the money instead of friends and family, they send the money via goods and services, and then they claim that the package never arrived, even though there was no package. And then that way, that's how Shani for Christ lost a lot of her PayPal's too. Not that I'm giving ideas. I'm not. I'm just saying <laughs> that's how they lost it. You think Queen Cobra is your new favorite? Queen Cobra is insane. But we will be getting to that for sure. So that was the first post. Then this post got an edit. So let me scroll up. Here's the edit. Edit. How is this begging? Lamau. Most creators have. It is begging. And that's fine. I beg. I think if you put your PayPal there, you're requesting money, right? That's fine. If you're a beggar, just I beg. Hi. I beg for money. That's fine. I just say it. Just say it with your whole double D chest and we can move on. If I send 10 pence and word the message right, I can fuck her shit. I mean, technically, yes. Not that I'm supporting that behaviour. Oh, no, does she eat for money? She has to. Queen Cobra is scary. She's terrifying. She needs to be locked up. If I was that woman's parents, I would think she was going to kill me in the night. Right? Terrifying. Terrifying. You're here for the season finale? I'm. Sh this is the thing. <laughs> DDs. <laughs> This is the thing, right? I've put in too much work. Even watching three videos of foodies, just say you watch three. That's I'm never going to get that back. I might as well commit. I might as well commit fully, right? I'm here till the end. I, I don't watch a lot of. I don't watch a lot of reality TV. This is it. But I think asking for PayPal donations when you both earn money on YouTube and allegedly have a husband who earns good money—that's rotted. It's very odd. She could have phrased it differently for sure, but she chooses not to because she doesn't care. Hi, Jamie. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. Uh, so next one. <clears throat> Begging is, please, please give me money. I need it for this or that. Nah. I put it here because people asked me to. Don't want to give? Then do we don't need your permission. 
I don't need your permission to not give money, but thank you so much. <laughs> I don't need it, but thank you. Have a nice day. What the fuck? It's not that serious. People are weird. Meggie, I beg for demerits. Oh, you cheeky fucking bitch. Oh, let me do it. Wait. See, this is the thing. I have to press like eight buttons to do this. A dollar for chai makes Chantel cry. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. It's like the soap opera. Yeah, you just got to stick through, right? Might as well commit what? self unaliving <laughs> Commit to a center. Got to be the sh Look, I'm an e-begging slut. There you go. Okay. And next. I also have brown eyes. State something else obvious. So what if people are? Set up a wish list instead. I'd love to know what she would put on a fucking wish list. Could you imagine? It's like when Shani had her wish list and she had lingerie on there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so funny. All right, next one. There's more. Here we go. <clears throat> so this was a few hours after the post about the PayPal. Oh, Kalari, thank you. Foodie is in head cheerleader, Ashley mode. A dollar for chai makes Chantel cry. Oh, Chantel. It's a suck. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm doing the, um, I'm doing the head cheerleader, my weather woman voice. <clears throat> can y'all seriously just shut up about my previous post most creators have a link to some kind of donation app including dumb reaction channels criticizing me for it Lol. <laughs> and stop with the your husband should be the provider because he paid for my ticket here like last time he didn't pay he didn't pay your family did ha if you think my family can pay for me to come here every few months, they are delusional. That's why they're putting it on their credit card, my love. Nor would I ask them to do that. No, you just manipulate and beg them to do that. He pays for most... This is the thing. Right, wait. I can't get ahead of myself. He pays for most of the bills, actually. But I have my own debts, not his responsibilities. It doesn't count if he's paying the bills with the money that you put in his account. It doesn't count if he pays the bills with the money that you put in his account. Doesn't count, babe. Doesn't count. <laughs> it's still your money. It's not, it doesn't, it's giving when she would give her ex Nader money and then film him on camera paying for things and then admitted to doing that. That's what it's giving. Fucking hilarious. Fucking hilarious. Does anyone door dash her funny items? I think she was sent diapers once. Um, he pays with your money. Exactly. And then she says, I have my own debts that you're not paying, which is why you ran to Kuwait because you've been bankrupt twice and you haven't paid your taxes, according to you. Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. What bills? What bills? What, what bills? I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. <laughs> um, You all really don't know me. Are, are you joking? I've seen your fupa boil. I know more of you than I know of myself. You don't know anything about how much we make or anything about Salah. I know that he likes to shit on people sexually. I know he likes to shit on people sexually and I feel like that's enough to know. I feel like I don't need to know anymore. I feel like that tells me enough. He likes to shit on women sexually, Chantel. But not you. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? He likes to shit on other women sexually, but not his wife. Whoa, how odd. <laughs> we know he asks strange women about their income. We know he thinks you're too heavy to lift. Don't we? We know he was looking for women in Canada specifically and not Kuwait. It's almost like Kuwaiti women uh, can't offer him something that he wants. Just weird, right? Very weird. He has been to university. What? Look, it doesn't say that he... He graduated. What degree was he studying? Someone tell me. What was he What was he doing? Was he trying to be... He looks like the kind of freak that would try and become a gynecologist because they're a perv, in my opinion. That's what I think. Sounds like a country song, yeah, right? I'm just dropping them sick beats. Yep. Yeah, he wanted money from the cheating girl. He did indeed. Uh, and supported himself for many years before me. No. What are you talking about? What do you mean supported himself? Since you've met him, 
you've moved to three different apartments. Might I add, the apartment that was... Okay, when they first met, he lived in an apartment, but we don't know what it looked like, right? When he met Chantel, they moved into an upgrade. It was an upgrade, right, together. That upgrade had no windows to the outside world and had two rooms. So if that was an upgrade, what was he living in before, babe? A cardboard box. What do you mean? He supported himself. He was living in a box. <laughs> He's had three new apartments, two new cars, two new phones. What the? F what do you mean? Supported himself. Oh, 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 what tea? What tea do we have, Sam? Sam, spread the tea. Madness. I would love to know what degree he was studying. Guess he's in the chat for what his degree was, please. Arceology. <laughs> Financing. <laughs> Arsology. I missed a drain rat too. I really missed a drain rat. Oh, that's so funny. Scatology, that's a good one. <laughs> he has a he doesn't have a PhD. He has a PLZ, please. <laughs> he has a please scatology. Proctologist. Proctology, that's a good one. Sewer engineering. What's the one where they drain your boils? Maybe you wanted to be a dermatologist. Advanced poo poo pee pee distribution. Good one. That's a good one. Oh, that's so funny. Um, if you think my man is a bought man, prove it. How about you disprove it by showing us your marriage certificate? Because we can't prove something if you won't prove again. Does that make sense? Like, we can't prove that you're married if you refuse to show us the marriage certificate. It's up to you to provide the proof, right? So prove that he's not a brought man. Show me the, the show me the certificate. Hi, wrong tab. You're gonna write a song about Harry and the Drain Rat. Please let me help. I love the Harry and I had like when I first started my, making videos, I had this whole love story etched out for them that this Drain Rat was trying to save Harry from behind his bar. Oh, uh, like the bars. So cute. Um, show us the marriage certificate. Go, but you won't because it doesn't exist because he's a bought man because he's on a salary. He's he's on a salary. All you have is the word. Oh God, zoom in. Oh no, that's I guess that that was cut off. Wait. Uh. Da, da, da. Oh, here we go. All you have the word is the word of a known scammer and liar with motive for clout. Who is she talking about? Allah, because he doesn't. He didn't really get any clout, so I don't really know what she's talking about. And he has no reason to lie because he hasn't... Allah has never said a bad word about Salah. He's been nothing but supportive of Salah. He's never said anything really horrible about Salah. Just Chantel. Because I think he generally is Salah's friend. So that makes no sense. So she bought herself a man and then he moved away. No, he moved to a new place when she moved to Kuwait. Kalari's a sweetheart. She is a very... I love your purple hair, Kalari. It's giving... It's giving like modern ursula but in like a cute way you know uh so there's that where else is it also if you're gonna claim i need to pay for love because how i look how about ffg what's okay we're not talking about ffg i'm talking about you it's called deflection my love let's focus on you i'll talk about ffg afterwards by that logic so do they okay okay fine with that logic so do they then they also have to okay so you admit it then. You're paying for love then, right? Right? Get real. He has money. Babe, where? He wouldn't even let you get a little journal. Do you remember when she wanted to get a little notepad and he said no? She wasn't allowed. When they moved into that place together, do you know what they had? One coaster to share. They had to share a coaster. Go back. Go look at the apartment with the no windows. They had one coaster. They had to pass around a coaster. Heartbreaking. <laughs> he has a career in what he drives uber <laughs> he has he drives uber he doesn't have a career and a business what career in business and what is the career and the business in the room with us i'm not seeing it i i haven't had eyes on the career colonel <laughs> i haven't had eyes on this career or business that you speak of Never wouldn't even let her play her card. She couldn't even play arcade games in the mall. Wasn't even allowed. 
Remember when she said, I don't even like windows? Yeah. She doesn't even look out of them. She doesn't need windows. Who needs fresh air? <laughs> Not her. Fucking funny, man. Anyways, I'm taking some more time away. Guess girl world won't mind. We won't. Since last time, you mass reported and wanted my channel gone. So here's another break. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are so sweet, Chantel. Look at, do you know what? Look at you all in the chat slagging off my bestie my chantelle and look what she's doing for us giving us a break queen behavior Qu the people's princess truly <laughs> so we had more oh god my fucking throat is drier than chantelle's pussy so we got this i say video we got these three sentences with snow in the background let me take a sip I don't even like windows. Don't even like them. I think she even like referred to like, what am I gonna do? Look out of them? Like, yeah, babe. <laughs> Normally, that is <laughs> that is the goal. You were so ready for the Pete Chantel reunion. Didn't even get it on camera. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. I needed a break. <laughs> she was so sweet. The only moisture of in her. <laughs> I love the word cunt. I love it. I think it's a great word. I wanted to pick. Oh, could you imagine they'd run at each other and then their like moves would clap in the air? <laughs> Do you think she'd absorb him like that Doctor Who villain? Anyway, we got this video and this had ads. It was 42 seconds long. It was an ad. Watch me. I'm going to put out a 42 second video soon. I'm going to put fucking ads on it. Here we go. Final. I'm going back to Kuwait. Oh god, here we go. I got a bit nostalgic for Canada. She misses the she missed the drugs. But when I get here, my feelings change. Wow. It's almost like you're the problem and not the countries you live in. How strange. Moving here feels like a step back. There will be no, go no going back to how things were. I love my new life as a revert. You haven't been in a mosque once. Sorry, you have been once in a year. What do you mean being a revert? What do you mean? The music might get you. Hit mute. Yeah, I will. Thank you. Just in case. Thank you so much. That was very sweet of you to remind me. Thank you. I love my new uh, Wait. And despite not being perfect, I will get closer to Allah. Inshallah. I said that very wrong. Um, I don't know if you know this. Allah, Allah. I say it wrong. Allah. I never know how to say it. I can't get like my tongue in the right spot. Um, don't know if you know this. He doesn't live in. Uh, Allah doesn't live in a country. Um, he's kind of more of a spiritual concept, and therefore you don't have to be in any country to be closer to him. You know, you can't get close to anywhere. Allah anywhere. Telling very, very. Allah, can you do you know guys know how to pronounce it? It's one of them where I very I struggle with A words for some weird reason. How does she not get arrested in Kuwait? She didn't go out. She didn't leave her house. And when she does go out, she goes out at night when no one's around. That way you uh you can't get arrested if no one can see you. <laughs> Am I right? <coughs> Allah? Is it Allah? Okay, thank you. I never know how to pronounce it. I'm really bad. This is the thing. When you grow up reading as much as I did, I read a lot of words but never heard them being said. I Oh, God. It's like... Did I tell you when I was at Mr. Milky's house? I don't know how to say it. Do you know the word hors d'oeuvres? So I'm trying to think it so I don't say the other thing. Do you know the word hors d'oeuvres? I'd heard people say the word hors d'oeuvres, but I'd read the word in books more than I heard people say it. So I thought hors d'oeuvres was a different thing. And I said it as on Davis. I didn't know that they were the same thing. I was like, <laughs> I turned to Mr. Milky and I was like, oh my God, would you want some like on Davis? And he looked at me like I'd hit my head. Like I'd honestly had a brain aneurysm. And he's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, on Davis, do you like on Davis? He's like, I mouse, I've got no clue, <laughs> clue what you mean. <laughs> I had to explain what it was. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he was like, give me hors d'oeuvres. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> On tapers. <laughs> right, Beach. <laughs> I just thinking about 
about it. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh, they vous. See, like, it's just when you read certain words. It's like when you, especially if you read the sort of books I'd read, like the fairy books where they've all got weird names. You read them. You don't hear the words. And so when people actually say them, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Like, but rendezvous, I've heard. Like, I've heard the word rendezvous enough to be like, oh. And like, Ron, I, I see an R, it starts with an R, but hors d'oeuvres to me doesn't sound like it starts with a, an, an H. Hors d'oeuvres, me, I am the whore. Oh, that'd be a very fun sticker design, would it not? Oh, God, it's so funny. It's just every time I think about it, I'm like, on <laughs> Oh, so funny. <clears throat> yes, now I look up how to pronounce words. I really should. Like, it would make my life so much easier. It's like, do you remember? I don't know if any of you ever read A Court of Thorns and Roses. It's a very popular, like, fey book. And the main character's name is Resand. But everyone called him, like, Reese. I, there was, like, a whole thing. No one knew how to pronounce his name. And the author had put, like, a dictionary in the back to how to pronounce every character's name because people just got it wrong. And to this day, people still debate how do you say it. Very funny. I don't know. Right, next one. The vibe in the Middle East. I, do you know what? I feel like <laughs> the vibe in the Middle East is best. I, I don't know if that's the right phrasing to use in the, color, in the um, current political climate. You can't put... It's Feyre. Yeah, I know why. Yeah, Feyre. <laughs> yeah, no, it's weird. I'm reading... Okay, sorry. Small divergent. I'm reading a fairy book. And so normally in like these kind of fey mystical books, they have mystical names like Feyre. There's um, other ones from from Sarah J Mass is like Azeriel, Cassian. They're very like regal names. I'm reading one where the main man and yeah, man and that there's, they have very regal names. I'm reading a fairy book, right? When I tell you the main male character in this book is called Franco. Franco! His name's Franco. And he's like a fairy prince. What do you mean his name's Franco? It sounds like he's going to be at the... At where Jenny on the Block's from. Like, at the... Uh, oh, what's it called? What does Jenny on the Block say? What was that joke J-Lo made? Um, oh, I can't remember. Feyre. Yeah, that's a good... It's a, it's a lovely name. Um... Yeah, fucking Franco, King, Prince Franco. Shut up, why is he called Franco? That's such a dumb name. <laughs> An Italian, like, he's going to be like, ah, yes. Magic, just like Grandmama used to make. Like, what are you talking about? I'm, you're Jenny from the, we're all Jenny from the block. Bob Skull, Bob the Skull, that's funny. Next, she will regret, she's from, she is a, she's travelled to Germany, Kalari. She is a, she's practically a German citizen at this point. <clears throat> so, uh, the vibe in the Middle East is best. I think a lot of Middle Eastern country countries in this current political climate would disagree. What are you reading? Snarky, oh, Snarky Freeze, love you. Hi. The book is called, let me find my Kindle. It's very good. Like I'm enjoying, um, it's quite a nice, easy read for sure. It has a lot of magical cliches in it, but it's a fun, this is the thing, right? A book doesn't have to be written well to be a good book. As long as I'm having a good time, that's all that matters. The book is called Heart of the Raven Prince. There you go. It was just a bit of light reading after I read some pretty heavy shit. <clears throat> but yeah, fucking Franco, man. Hilarious. <coughs> um, Islamic countries are the best. <laughs> That's a bit. Supporters have threatened to unsub if I choose a direction in life they don't like i say please leave i don't need fair weather followers yeah guys she just needs constant devotees that will support her every move even if it will result in an early grave you can't be reading crying h mark book girlies rise i'm the reason i'm reading this oh snarky this is making me blush hi cat c Hi, musical mistress. I've missed you. Hello. I keep putting... The only reason I'm reading these at the minute is because I'm putting off reading a book that I know. Shut up. She didn't send S Jam nudes, Panda. You Sorry. What do you mean Queen Cobra sent S Jam nudes? 
Shut your dirty mouth. Where? When? I want to see them. <laughs> what? No! Did she charge? Did he pay? Oh my god. It was before she met King Cobra? Even better. I want to see them. Oh my god, she tried to date Esh. I'm not surprised. I'm really not surprised. Her and Esh would have had a great time. Up weren't paying for nudes. Are you joking? Do you know how much money he was giving Chantel? He was paying for nudes. Now needed money for booze. Be kind. <laughs> Unsolicited, apparently. Oh, and for Esham to complain about that, we know he's desperate. Oh god, thank fuck they never got in a car together. Esham's already nearly killed three people on the road. She wanted to sniff him after he met Chantel. I mean so. Oh, thank you, Fupa. I I figured you deserve a moderator status, status, whatever it's called. She probably looks the same nude as she does in her clothes. I mean, she's always nude. She's just off camera. 50 bucks. I yelled, picks her, it didn't happen. I'd show them. Show them and I'll believe you, Esham. Spill the beans. Um, I've been putting off. The only reason I'm reading these sort of books at the minute is because I have currently got... Let me find the thing so I can read it to you. I've currently got... Oh, where is it? I can't see my eyes of shit. My glasses. is uh, Song of Achilles. And everyone says how good it is. And I keep putting off reading it because I know it's going to destroy me. And the last time I cried reading a book was A Little Life. And it ruined me. And I, I, I need to read it, but I know I'm going to die. I just know I'm going to. Hi, Chris the Goat. Love that. Hello. She should just wear one of those Wiley Coyote flame suits. <laughs> okay, we've got we've got to watch Queen Cobra after this. I'm taking so long. I'm so sorry. Right, I'll speed up. I'll speed up. My my apologies. Boundaries, people. Sorry, boundaries. I've seen your nipples. A little life destroyed me. You will love Achilles. It. You knew it would break your heart. All I see is people crying about it, and I've got to read it. And I know I've got to read it. I'm just not emotionally in a good place <laughs> to read it. <laughs> I'm just not. Okay. Um, maybe we should do like a read. Maybe I'll do like a vlog of me reading it. I think that could be quite fun. I mean, it would probably only get a hundred views, but I think it'd be quite funny to watch me cry. If any of you sent me money for my new place here, want it back? Let me know. Should I send her a, a PayPal request for twenty quid? Like Chantel, I gave this to you mentally. Can you please refund my money? Thanks. You literally stopped before the tragedy. <laughs> There's a video of me on my TikTok crying. Because I just finished reading a little life and I was like sobbing. And there's if you go if you scroll back, there's a video of me crying. Twilight meets Percy Jackson, but lesbian. Oh my god, I'll read it, please. Is that a series? What uh Achilles? No, it's not. It's just one book. I've got like the special edition of it as well, because I know I'm gonna like it. But it's gonna it's gonna kill me. Um you think you got just We've got very important Chantel work to do. God. I'll return it to you, no problem. Look at her going in the minus for you guys. How sweet. Okay, next bit. Here we go. I've changed too much. You've put on £20, according to you. What else has changed? I'm confused. You fart less on camera? Maybe? Whether you believe it or not, it's not my job to convince people of anything. Well, technically, actually, it kind of is. Because if you kind of keep the audience that you have, <clears throat> if you want to keep the audience that you have, then it is your job to convince them of a certain... If you don't want your audience believing things, it's in your job to convince them otherwise, right? Am I making sense? Does that make sense? Well, like 120 pounds. I mean, look, I, I I believe Chantel. She's only put on 20 pounds in the past year. I mean, is she four dress sizes bigger? Sure. But it's just water weight. Yeah. I get all of my culture in the diversions in Girl World side chat. The culture over here for sure. My Okay, this is one's very interesting. My husband vowed to take good care of me and to support me even more. So she guilt tripped him. In like, well, I had to come to Canada. We killed my health care and you weren't letting me do so and so and this and that. Do we think that's what happened? And so he's had to like convince her even more so. 
What do we think? And support on my health journey if I return. I like. There's nothing he can support you on. He can't lose the weight for you. That's on you. There's no support unless he's shoving food in your mouth. That's the only behavior he could. Right. I will take more of a break now because I'm totally not on a plane. And I can myself see you. Or to see you even not see you soon. So that was that. <clears throat> she posted that, and then she did more <laughs> community tab posts. Believe it or not, her thumbs were flying. My goodness, she got a workout. Uh, people are so dumb. They don't. Should, right? Should we do Mean Girl voice? What do you think? What do we think, Mean Girl or Girl voice? I'm not sure which one works better. Is that 20 labs in dog years? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It is indeed. <laughs> 20, 20 pounds in dog years. <laughs> there we go, voice. I'll do... <clears throat> Here we go. <clears throat> People are so dumb. They don't see it. Oh, that's Mean Girl. We'll do Mean Girl. I feel like that's how she feels in the vibe, right? It's the vibe she's giving. Mean girl. Okay. <clears throat> People are so dumb. They don't see how they contradict themselves. Lamau. He doesn't love you. Back for him. In the same breath, people claim that I make 2800 a month and I'm broke. I am broke and barren. I mean, you are, but all right. And blah, blah, fat. Blah. He can't come to Canada. Blah, blah. Okay, so then by your logic, if he's paid two international flights for me this month alone, and I can't cannot offer him any of the above things he would benefit from, then why is he with me, Lamau morons? So <laughs> because he's broker, right? So whatever you have is a plus to what he currently has. Thank you, you are Baron. That there's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens, you know. We had one issue in our relationship. As you saw in those texts, you're set one issue, shit on another one. What do you mean? Hi, Lumuff. What do you mean one issue? That's a, that's a I would argue. I would consider that almost, you know, a relationship. If my man wanted to shit on a white Christian ass and they told him that her ass was more important than his whole family. I would find that a big issue. You know, Chantal, I guess, I guess you don't. We can't all have standards, am I right? And believe me, he's proven himself since, so he touched you. So he touched you to prove to you that he's sexually attracted to you. Love that. Love that. You know nothing. Anyways, as you can see, I need another break from the internet. Bye fucking brilliant she's so funny okay and another one <laughs> and and nothing. i can just imagine her little smoke trails coming off her thumbs because she's typing so fast and another thing i did not come here for come here for that when it's too expensive because you don't like the other middle eastern countries chantelle and you buy them get high in canada it's not your business about my visa status i'm done with youtube you peep damn life yeah you're the one you're the one community tabbing like a maniac hi tip top she could have gone to qatar but she can't smoke weed in qatar so <laughs> she won't do that and then we got another one another one some sort of some cool line go bad he cheated on you. We moved on. <laughs> you know nothing. I cheated on someone I loved dearly also. And guess what? I learned and never did it. Yes, you did. Sorry. You cheated on BB. No. Let's, let's, wait. Tell me when you... Sorry. Let's, let's go through this. So you was with Pete's. You cheated on Pete's with BB. Not with BB. And then you cheated on BB several times with someone else and then you was the cheaty for another man he was cheating on his wife with you so who was the person you loved and at what point did you stop thailand they just did go to 
she did not have a good time. She did not have a good time. Because Salah could also get high, and I don't think she liked that. So at what point did she... Was this person that she loved dearly? And she learned. I'm confused. When did she learn? I'm baffled. Can someone explain? Anyways. People change. And besides... Yeah, we can... Definitely. One incident can undo 27 years of kink mishap. This is not a psychotic break. If she wants to call it that, then, you know, I'll happily go along with the tale. Hi, Camps. How are you doing? And besides that one incident, that one big incident, everything else is amazing about him. But that's not what you said when you broke up, is it? You said things weren't going right. If I remember correctly, that is what you said, Chantel, right? Yep, you're so right. Stop judging things you know nothing about. Psycho. Okay, that's the other one. <laughs> if my mum saw me posting shit like this, she'd throw me away. It is all impulsive. And she can as, it, be as impulsive as she wants. But you're not being impulsive with my money. Chantel wasn't impulsive with her own money. She was impulsive with her mum's money, which is just over the line. You're not being impulsive on my dime. Your YouTube career will be over if you go back. Do you know how stupid that sounds? You think I give an actual... Where Where would you get the idea that we thought you gave a crap? Was it the 10 community tab posts of you throffing at the wrong set of lips? Explain. Explain. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That was good. Well done. <laughs> I give an act actual crap if people don't want to anymore because I'm doing something I want to do with my own life. Good riddance. Don't care. Never will. We're far, far away from that PayPal post, aren't we? Far, far away. I still feel like he got his dick wet so Eventually, I will rebuild a different audience anyways. You're running out of audience. There, there's not that many to go around. As if you people think I'm going to live my life how a bunch of strangers online want me to. I am not more alive here. I am high here to deal with the depression. <laughs> oh, this man. <laughs> Last one, guys, we did it. Can get flags in the chat. I've made it to the end. I did it. Maybe her mum's got her on a 72-hour psych hold. A fucking... <laughs> she should. I doubt it, but she should. I'm at the beginning. Oh, you're from Olympia, Washington. Thank you for being here, Stefan. Is it Stefan or Stefan? I'd pronounce it. I'd appreciate it. Uh, yeah, that would be helpful. She won't, though. Okay, now I'm done with the YouTube. This is her. <sighs> After typing. <sighs> okay, now I'm done with the YouTube for a while. And yes, this is a psychotic episode. I'm frustrated and over putting my life out there for the entertainment of others wow then you just picked a very weird do chantelle if you don't want to put your life out there for the entertainment of others you might want to be something other than a youtuber snarky priest i like the race car flag because it's the finish line if we could get the race car i like emojis that don't get used as much i find great joy in them one of my favorites is the carousel emoji um so if we could get the little race car flag emojis because we're at the end i'd very much appreciate that I'm tired of stupid people. To my supporters, if there's any of you left, see you later. Who's still a supporter? Oh, the pirate flag's funny. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Right, wait, I need a drink. I need a drink. She's just... <laughs> Chantel, eat a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Someone get Snickers. Drink, because that fucked my throat. And I'm gonna prepare Queen Cobra. So if you and don't like crazy people, I would suggest you finish here, and that's okay. I appreciate you being on this journey with me. My God, my throat that fucked me. <laughs> oh, they gave me the giggles. Okay. 
let me prep YouTube up for the next thingamabob. Above my lap so the air can circulate. <coughs> okay, one minute. It's been really slow. Bear with me. Tell me, poor favor. Oh my god, while we wait, did anyone see the little bunny that I made on tick on Twitter? I crocheted my first ever bunny and now I'm obsessed. I need to get more yarn, but yarn's expensive. It's so cute. Um, my boyfriend named him Sweet Corn. It's like a little sweet corn. Hi, Idol Wolf. How are you doing, my love? Yeah, go get. Until I'll spit in my mouth. Um, it's my own fault, you know. You can't let you can't let Canadians spit in your mouth anymore. God, can't let me enjoy the good things in life. Pop to say hi, love, and saw I'm unsubbed. Oh no, worries. I didn't like. It doesn't tell me when anyone's unsubbed, so my feelings weren't hurt personally. But I very much appreciate you coming back. I'm like a, I'm like an STD you just can't get rid of. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so slow. Sorry, it's, not, it's just bear with me. I can't even like roll the chat, so I'm just, just going to assume you guys are saying something. Don't be too funny when I can't see. Save the funny for when I can, you know. I can breathe now though, that's great. I love the fact that I can now breathe again. Oh god, it's so slow. I feel like it's gonna crash. Shit. Da, da, da. <laughs> Wish I could sing. I could do like a little interval appointment. Poundland has some basic yarn. I need um Chenal, Chenal, how do you say it? It's one of them things. Again, I've read it, I've never heard anyone say it. I need that kind of yarn. Charity shops for yarn? Oh really? I'd see look I really wish I'm gonna one day show you guys. I'll I'll take some photos or I'll do a TikTok. If you see the charity shops that we have in the UK, they're heartbreaking. They're not like thrift shops in the US. You get nothing. They're so crap. <laughs> they're so bad. <laughs> they're like one tiny little room the size of a classroom. Chanel. Oh, is it called Chanel? Oh, okay, thank you. Chanel yarn. I need some Chanel yarn. I want to make a B next, I think. I'm just going to be giving everyone plushies because I've just got to learn to make them and I'm going to end up with like an army. Even Facebook Marketplace. I don't know. The area I live in it is, isn't very creatively inclined. You're more likely to get a shiv on Facebook Marketplace or a XL bully <laughs> rather than yarn. <laughs> Chinil. Chinil. Estate sales. They don't do them here. I've never... I'll make sure your stream is set to 18 plus. I will. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I've never, I don't think they do like estate sales. Uh, okay, okay, we're almost there. It's almost loaded. The PC has stopped making weird sounds. Or the laptop, or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because you are. Oh, Bondi, thank you. But yeah, you're more likely to get a, sh a shiv or an XL bully. Spent so much of your money on yarn. Loon Moth, I just started crocheting and I made my first bunny this weekend and I'm very proud of him. Um, he's very wonky, but I'm proud and I'm excited to make more. I was very happy with it. <clears throat> okay. If you heard that crack, it was my fucking neck. You're lucky I'm still alive. All right. Are you ready? Trigger warning. Beware. Please see yourself out if you are triggered. So she does say the F word. You've seen people on YouTube unraveling sweaters. Oh, very cool. That sounded very sarcastic, but it's not, I promise. We have great secondhand stores where you can buy $2 for a bag of everything. I've never seen anything in a charity shop in the UK cost less than a fiver. You get like, I wish I could, sh that's what I'm going to do. Remind me next live. I'll go to a charity shop with Mr. Milky. There is nothing. They are so bad. We don't have like massive thrift shops. There's nothing like Goodwill. They're tiny shops the size of like 
tiny like small classrooms and they'll normally have like two clothing racks a shelf of books some plates and that's it they are so bad and everything costs ridiculous amounts of money you just don't really we don't really get i see people go goodwill and i'm like where are you getting this shit you give a trigger warning for the f word oh panda pup i don't mean fuck i mean the other word i mean the the word hi leslie um i mean the word that is offensive to those of the queer nature that word also the n word with the hard r i believe makes an appearance so if that is something you are sensitive to which we sh all should be uh beware let me try and find the video <clears throat> here we go thank you bgtv for cutting this down So she lives at home, by the way. She's nearly 40. She lives at home with her parents, which is fine. Do you know, 15, you live at home with your parents, whatever. I don't care if you live at home. But the fact that you're doing this in someone's house that isn't yours, it madness. You call yourself that all the time. I call myself queer. I just don't feel like I can say the F word. I don't know. I just don't feel like it. I don't know. Like, I can't claim it back. I don't look queer enough. You know? But that's just me okay here we go warning jump scare you're about to see something that looks like the conjuring thank you just lurker i'll put that up i'm more balls it for my fist at the racist than sensitive to it but i know the heifer is bad yeah she's real bad panda pub charity shops in the uk is where dead people's stuff go to gather dust and it's not even good people's it's not even good stuff it's stuff that they didn't even want, you know? Like, because everyone here just wants to make a buck. Like, there's nothing, or a pound, I guess. There is, I've never gone into a charity shop and found something good. Never. Never in my life. I love a Goodwill. I see people on TikTok go to Goodwills and they buy, like, I don't know, like, stained glass tables. I'm like, are you joking? Where are you? You say the S slur. I just, I don't, um... I think it's one of them words. I don't know. I, it makes me uncomfortable personally, but I'm not going to... I don't like it when straight people say it. I get it if you're gay and you say it, fine, whatever. I personally don't like it when gay people say it, but I'm not going to, you know, beat you up for it. But when she's saying it alongside the N-word, it has a... She's saying it in like a... You can joke about it, but she's not saying it in a light-hearted light manner. She's saying it alongside the N-word as a means to insult people, Right? She's saying it out of disdain. Thank you. You could find a coffee stained glass table. Are you joking? Sta yeah, stained with meth. Stained glass. There are really good. There are some really good dead people stuff. <laughs> well, do you know what? My boyfriend's mother owns a craft shop, but she doesn't live in this country, and I'm like, why? <laughs> why? And buys designer labels for a hundred, yeah. But even like I've seen, I went to a charity shop in London. In um, I love, I would love to thrift in the US. I went to a charity shop in Camden Street, right? Which is, I guess, it, it was Camden Street is supposed to be like, I guess Soho. It's meant to be very artsy and urban. But it's become posh. And I went to a charity shop there, and they were selling a pair of jeans for forty pounds. And I was like, are you joking? This is a they living more people. What do you mean, forty British pounds? Suck a dick. Here we go. Right. The the, the witch the screen. The intention is nasty for sure. I'll just do what Chantel does. I'll just add a bunch of yarn to my Amazon wish list and I'll e-bag. That's how I do it, right, Chantel? Could buy brand new for forty. Could buy brand new for forty. And they were selling them for 40. Disgusting. Disgusting. Here we go. <laughs> Terrifying. Look at her. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, God. I have no perfume on. And I smell like a... And so... I literally tell people, do not send me. And then they still fucking do it. Is it too quiet? Because nobody respects me. Nobody listens. Oh. I didn't touch anything. If Josh would be up there, I would... check the quality. Yeah. 720. I'll turn it up a smidgen. 
literally put a six to eat belt with him, and what? then y'all can be good. Oh, my whole life, I gotta prove myself. Do it, shall I? <laughs> and nobody's oh. ever taken me seriously. I've always been accused of never getting enough. And, and just because I laugh at something I'm being accused of doesn't mean I did it. Chantel does it. I've been accused of everything in my life. At least and I'm an e bagel with everybody. <laughs> with guts, though. Like, you would literally get all of your money back if you flew me out there. Nobody hears her. Nobody listens to me. Everybody abandons me. Everybody. Everybody abandons me. He has mommy issues. So the f do I. And plus all the pretend and mother figures in my life that have always abandoned me. I hate everyone. I wonder why. You can talk amongst yourselves. I'm done crying. I'm done whatever. Like you, you can troll me all you want. Hit the mom. Shut up. <laughs> Calm down. You fucking screaming, Banshee. Calling, did you hear that? Calling her a screaming Banshee. This woman's gonna. She needs to put pillows over their face. <laughs> Your subconscious fucks you over. Like telling people to get over it is not that easy. <laughs> Can we get oh, some I, for that, you stupid I mean, we can try. It. I, oh, Good luck. I love you. I hate every last I love you. I'm gonna throw so much money at him. You could throw all that money at me. I'm gonna get played too. Paranormal activity. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you don't trust me, yes. I also don't trust you. Everybody yes, poops. You could be here for me, and that's all fine. And I'm drunk. Okay, I'm drunk. I've literally. <laughs> Breathe, breathe. Ow, ow. I'm drunk. You're drunk? No way. <coughs> oh. Oh. To you, girl. Oh, she's growing COVID too. <laughs> <in that way. laughs> they all I think every yeah. given way, look, I'm ugly. So, where's Josh to dispute that? Josh ain't here. He talks about Ellen and Alicia at any given chance he gives. He knows how I feel about them, and he still mentions them. Cool. But it doesn't matter if he mentions me, too. Yeah. I'm still the gutter small least of them from gutters. I know I'm ugly as fuck. I know what the fuck I look like, you read. Oh, yeah, you can only pretend so much when you're constantly, well, constantly, you constantly, 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 oh, constantly, well, constantly, well, constantly, well, constantly, well, constantly. We've got... Get rejected, get rejected by... Schools. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, Kyber. Wait, what? Okay, Taylor, we're going. We're going. I'm running to Christian's Twitter. <gasps> okay, here we go. I'm going to read this out. Oh, wait. Should I put it on screen? I'll put it on screen. Okay, we have a live update. Live update. <laughs> Is it conf Let's have a look. Oh, I don't know if I can get it up. I think I might just have to read it from my phone. I'll get it up. We can deal with the lag. We can deal with the lag. Bear with. Bear with. It's a live update. Okay. I will never call it X. It's never going to happen. Never. I'd rather not use it. If they made me, I'd be good. I'm like, I'm alright, thank you. Keep it. Keep it. I'm not interested. Okay, almost loaded. Bear with me. I'm so sorry. This is what happens. When your computer is run by a hamster on a wheel who doesn't get paid. He's bitter. It's a bitter hamster. Um, oh my god. Hurry up. You're taking so fucking long. Oh, I might just have to read it out. Shit, I wanted to show you. All right, I'm going to read it out because there... Oh, wait, wait. It's like it hears me. Have you ever noticed... Have you ever had that with, like, a technology thing? When you start to suggest that you're about to change it, your mind, it kind of, like, panics. And just do what we said. You know? OK, 
Okay, come on, come on, come on. So you'll trick it. Like, oh, I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna have to close it and find somewhere else. And then it freaks out. Okay, opening X. Sorry, I can't see the chat. Bear with. Don't be funny. Otherwise, we're gonna. I'll be very upset with all of you. If any of you are funny and I can't read it, keep the funny yourself. Thank you much. Oh, that was my neck. Okay. Almost, almost, almost. <laughs> I'm being edgy. And not even in a fun way. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I'm talking to myself like a psychopath while I wait for it to load because I can't even read the chat. So, uh, yeah. Awfully good weather we're having lately. <laughs> uh, are you guys doing anything fun? So, uh, yeah, great. Good time for everyone. Um, still waiting. Almost there. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. Are you right? I'm giving up. I'm giving up. Close it. Fuck off. I'm just gonna read it off my phone. You pieces of shit. You come pieces of shit. Right. Sorry. I'm gonna just have to read it out. I'm cutting out. Okay, that, is that better? Fuck me. Honestly, this laptop can only handle two tabs at a time. Sorry, that must have been so fucking annoying. I'm so sorry. Honestly, the computer said, I'll show you to bitch at me. I'm going to read it out. I am so sorry. That was so rude and so horrible. But it wasn't my, it wasn't my fault. I got abducted by aliens. It's Chantelle. She's coming for me. She knows something I don't know. She knows. Okay, I'm going to read it. Here we go. Are you ready? So they've tagged... So this is from Jessica Mesca, and they've tagged King Cobra and Queen Cobra, and they said, Hey, King Cobra, Queen Cobra... Can you guys hear me? Let me just check for you guys. I'm going to check to see if you can hear me beforehand before I start chatting and reading shit out. Incoming, can you hear me? Speak now or forever hold your peace. You can hear every third word? Okay. Is that better? Any third word? Papa, can you hear me? <laughs> Transmission received. Hi, coffee artist. Papa, can you hear me? That was funny. That was, that was well done. That was very good. Better? Okay, sweet. Perfect. So I'm going to read it. Okay. So this is from Jessica Mesca. They say, hey. All right, no worries, Kalari. 
hearing you better ground control glad to hear it thank you okay. queen cobra is a confirmed sicko damn she was 32 then and can't blame the trolls because nobody knew she existed back then milky i'm in a field holding my phone up to the sky <laughs> i'm so sorry okay so this was posted by anonymous and not anonymous on the 26th of june 2016 at 41 a.m earlier this week my daughter and i were shopping at your so i guess this is like an ad for us like a, a review for a store we're shopping at your virginia location my daughter noticed a female employee named jessica blank i believe it's the confirmed surname it's like the last few letters have been rubbed out i won't say the surname. that she's the only reason my daughter knows this female is because on October the 11th, 2015, Jessica posted my daughter, who was a minor on Craigslist, for sex. I said sex really weird because I was going to block it out, but I figured why not? Let's just say it. I am shocked. We allow people who do such terrible things to work for you. Oh, no. Especially since she did this to a child. Oh no, you must not do checks on your employees either, or either that or you do you just don't care. Anyone who hurts a child like that should not be, be able to work around children. You should know that the Central for Missing and Exploited Children was contacted <gasps> and a report was filed. The investigation remains open. Blank did post, but the damage had been done. My daughter had received tons of calls, text messages, and very inappropriate photos from men. She should not be allowed to work around any children of any age where she has the ability to one day harm them the way she has my daughter. As I said, either you don't do checks or you simply don't care. Whoa. Shit. That name, the Center for Missing and Exploited Children, too? Oh, Queen Cobra in trouble, bitch. That's bad. Fuck. Wait, how old did she say how old the daughter was? I mean, yeah, if this was posted in 2016 as well, where did she work at this time? I don't know. Because again, she wasn't on YouTube at this time. So it wouldn't make sense that someone would just post this without it being real, right? If it wasn't on YouTube, no one would make a lie out. Like, I wonder if anyone can get a report, maybe. I don't really know how any of that works. But if it was if it a report was filed for the central of missing and exploited children, how old did she say her daughter was? She doesn't say how old her daughter was. The only reason my daughter knows is females because in October 2015, posted my daughter who was a minor. She just said she was a minor, so for, uh, 15 and under, 15 and under. Oh, it's Home Depot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was drinking out of a racist glass. I think we might see that, but she was drinking out of a glass that had a um I'm not gonna say it, it had a very inappropriate image that dis depicted very horrible stereotypes of black people on it. So this is not confirmed, so I'll take it with a grain of salt. I will, I'll take it with several, but the was posted in 2016 speaks a lot, right? Maybe just for me. Maybe it just speaks a lot for me. I don't know that i don't like that all, actually i don't like that a lot it was really sick and terrible yeah that's not fun at all. fucking vile i wish i'm surprised she's just she rubs me the wrong way and i don't know why there's just something about her that i just doesn't sit right with me i don't know if it's because she's a fucking racist homophobe maybe that has something to do with it no i don't i really do not enjoy it Oh, morbid. Calm down. Uh, yeah, that glass she had was shocking. It was indeed. It kind of reminds me of... Um, could someone block morbid, please? Thank you so much. The 2016 got me too, but then Jessica has made a lot of enemies. She has, for sure. That is very, very true. She has made a lot of enemies. I, I wish I was surprised, though. Yeah, could someone block morbid? Thank you. Look at him. He got broken up by Taylor in the chat. Couldn't even finish his offensive sentence ha <laughs> take that you got caught cool. <laughs> couldn't even be racist because you were 
blocked out. Okay. I'll finish uh, what we were doing. Back to Mrs. Cobra. Are you guys ready? Are we prepared? Are we mentally... Me and my big mouth coming in hot. Love that. No worries, Blondie. It's fine. Your heart sounded like Destiny's. I did mean it too. Sure. We should be careful with assumptions. Oh, well, yeah, we were just reading. We don't know. It's very interesting. If Jess was never convicted, then it wouldn't show up on a background check. True. That is true. Yeah, no, no it wouldn't, would it? That's very... I don't know. Very odd. Okay, back to... Back to Mrs. Regal over here. You ready? <laughs> Prepare your bodies. Words you can't say. Same. I've been quiet upon quiet upon quiet with them. No, you haven't. This is why I have to be silent. This is why I don't get what I want in my life because she's such a demon gorgon. Were you silent or were you silenced? <laughs> oh, it's my fault you can't sleep. No, baby doll. While well, my mother screams. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> oh, alcohol, man. It does stuff to you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Calm down, you stupid... Baby doll. You are still going on. Baby Nobody's doll. Really talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> Normally, I feel really bad when I hear women cry, but she just doesn't evoke that response to me. Ooh. Ooh. Let's, let's go back. Prepare. What would you? What are you trying to do? Slick a cock? Why are you spitting on things? And Missy Moo cried for his forgiveness. How does YouTube allow this freak to stream? Couldn't tell you. Haven't got a clue. Haven't got a clue. At all. <laughs> and Josh would rather talk to a show yeah. about his morals and pretend to lie to pretend to go to sleep. <laughs> oh, that poor mum. Well, then you should have never spread your legs, bitch. Quite. Never spread your legs. She did forty years ago, and she had no more. You taught her not to spread her legs, and she didn't. Now leave her alone. <laughs> You're forty. You still shouldn't be there. Oh my god. And upon crying because oh, I, I'm the whole reason you chose this whole life. You chose this whole house. You chose, and, and you blame every one of your problems upon me. I That's mean, fine. you are the reason she's That's not that. sleeping though. That's it. One. No nope. the problem. Keep in mind, this is the woman that told Josh she's a oh, King Cobra. She said King Cobra said he she wasn't talking to him. I think she was that she was gonna go buy what was it like an eight dollar machete from Walmart, and then I think it was Willow who checked how much machetes were in Walmart, and it was the same price. Girl was shopping around for a machete to harm someone, but please continue. Well, I should never. <laughs> When I asked for circle protection. Just has mental yeah. issues. Yeah, I mean, the alcohol doesn't help. I'm being screened at. I'm being screened at. I have to go here. I know he wants. <laughs> and if y'all don't see me, hopefully Bigfoot took me away. Because I never considered to being born. I'm, I'm, I'm too old for everything. Six to eight. Oh, my bad. I feel like the higher end one. What? <laughs> 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 Uh, don't fucking make me doing? Where he not where he like into a new place because his little small place can't handle everything I have. Step by step. Step by step. Step by step. <laughs> Double fist in the shots. Uh, I need you, I need you. 
And you snap that clip. <laughs> Maybe it'll make my laptop work faster. Maybe I should try this. Oh. That's his phone too. Honestly. Yeah, if I like sneeze on my phone, ashes, make that make sense. I bet there's not a single. Oh. Yeah, that's... maybe it would work properly if you stop beating the crap out of it. That would be a clever decision, Luna. I agree. Slap yeah, it. I'm going to bed. Make Thank it you. a dirty Bye. slut. And I'm not excusing myself for that because I'm not a lady. I mean, you I've said it, not me. My whole life, I'm an ugly boy, and no one will ever love you. So I'm not going to excuse myself for that burp right there because I call of you. Sounds like peanut. I don't because know peanut nobody means. loves me anyways. If people don't give a fuck about you, Jeannie Cooney, why would anybody Yeah, give she a has this weird... Me? I was in one of her lives well, the other day you... um, lurking. Actually, that's a lie. I told her that she should get out of the bath to get trench foot. I was very worried because she sits in the bath for like 11 hours like this woman's a fucking mer person. She was very... She was talking about... Oh, it's not fair. Eugenia Cooney makes money and could go to Japan, but I can't. Well, they make content like Eugenia Cooney. I don't know what to tell you. Just, I can watch this afforded. Gilly Witchy, it is not for everyone, my love. Do not worry. You're in a dungeon in my game. Have fun. Good luck. I hope you win. Good luck. You are a piece of shit. I hope all the demons, all the dreams that you remember, I hope I think all she thinks of she's the demons bathing in the fountain of in youth. every aspect of the way. I know, who I, am I know who I am. I know who I am. Best of the best. Everybody continue, and you wonder why people... Girl, you look tired. Go sleep. It's her house! Roll them eyes back! You don't pay rent. Look at her. That's like your home. Oh, my fucking fingers are clicking. Can you get the fuck out of here? No, that's her home! You get the fuck out! I guess I'm not fucking getting insane then because I want peace right now. I don't need you in here. I can do this all by Ooh, myself. Do you see the snowdrop in the house? We're gonna go back. It's up. If you're washing up or driving, pull up. I didn't see her. I think BD. Very appreciated. Want peace right now? I Even don't doesn't want to get inside her body. In here. It's trying to escape. I can I do want this to break free. all by myself. I don't I want need to you break in free. here. Well, I'm having a mental breakdown. Hello. She doesn't even get a single nobody switch, care. I'll try you to. You pretend to care, but yeah, nobody cared when I was in the hospital in the oncology room. The oncology room? No, they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> nobody <laughs> cared <laughs> then, but they all pretend to care. Dude. No, I'm having dinner. <laughs> Can you still run a I warned you. I don't want to hear it, Lumoff. You had a warning. You I'm were told. You were prepped. <laughs> oh, she's hitting herself. Maybe she can knock some sense into herself. Okay. Oh, she'd have I, a I can't have headache. peace and quiet, obviously. So, okay. I gotta go somewhere else, I guess. Okay, that's fine. That's your own house. I, I, I will move my fucking, fucking shit. If I, okay. if, if I can't have peace and quiet, that's fine. I'll, I'll go find some. Peace and quiet? That's fine. I'll, I'll figure it out. She's so classy. I can't. I... This is not the fucking place to do Put it. her out. Why are her family letting her do this? Obviously, I can't fucking have peace and quiet anywhere I go. Yeah, that's cool. All right, that's fine. I, I have to be literally fucking ignored all of my needs, all of my 
Jesus Christ. I wanted peace, you went outside. On it, like you don't get peace unless you live on your like unless you are paying the rent, your peace is not free. You know? You have to pay for peace. Can you stop looking at me? Jesus Christ. Do you have an issue? I don't want you looking at me. Stop looking well, at why? me. I'm the room. She talks weird. She has you a very odd issue. Take it up with my teacher because that's not me. Yeah, I'll play whatever fucking music I want to play. I don't give a fuck who you so are. Black, white, yellow, purple, purple, purple like Grimace, I all of Garden. Like you. I don't give a fuck all of you. What? Stupid, dumb. She acts like she can't go for a walk. But, I mean, honestly, about a state of that, I don't think she can. How about that? Go fuck yourself. I guess I have to move outside because nobody wants to respect my authority. Oh, <laughs> Everybody oh, wants to spy on me like they're a floor animal and they'll get half, <laughs> half the fucking store. No one wants to affect my authority. <laughs> she doesn't want to be watched, looked at, but she live streams from the tub. But the phone's from a different direction. Oh my god, I gotta listen to that again. My authority. <laughs> Outside, because nobody wants to respect my authority. My authority. Everybody wants to spy on me like they're a floor animal and they'll get half, half the oh, story. Just put it over the back of the head Just for 10 minutes of peace. No, stupid as fuck. Unplug the Wi Fi. Because they don't research and do the homework. You're you know, sure. it's not like she's got four or five G. She's not paying for a phone bill. No goddamn way. Just unplug the Wi-Fi. Unplug it. So unplug her from a machine. Can you leave? Of course you can't. That would never be the issue. She needs an exorcism. Oh, yeah, that'll clear her head. Jesus fucking Christ. I swear to God. You could go as slow as a fucking sloth, you fucking whore. You're taking 500 million years to try and fucking dig up on some dirt you don't even know. It's her house! Goddamn. She's take like, as long as she wants! Go for yourself too you, you want to be in on this hours. Skinny. yourself too you want to take 500 years to pack some fucking food up that wasn't even your fucking you can take 700 fine. years to pack your food up you, you you're trying to spy on me and you don't know a goddamn fucking thing that's fine keep on spying which I guess Spying. I like she's going to report back to the government I don't it's your, her house mm -hmm. you're insane <laughs> Boobs. Uh, Can't some people that disrespect my parents? It's taking me so twenty-five fucking million years to pack this fucking food up. Can you fucking pack it no, faster? Or not? You know what? If you don't hit the like button, yeah, obviously you can't. On you, so so yeah. Obviously you can't I'm do that. With this. You want in on the tea? Oh, you want to be in on the tea? You want to be in on the tea? You want to be in on the tea? Oh. Okay, we'll take 500 million years to then pack up some food that I didn't even ask you to pack up. You fucking bitch. Yeah. You act like I can't pack up my own fucking food? Bitch. Are those kitties worth I, it? I know oh, what the King Cobra. ingredients I use. I know it? how to pack it up myself. You're going to go as slow as to pack up literally like one chicken. Okay. Against me or one against me. <laughs> Is that a scream for her voice? That was nice to pack so up your you want to yeah, take an hour hundred years away one chicken thigh? You got an app. Simply upload it to Ad Studio. No ad? No Where's problem. the one of her Spotify losing it? Team can your ad at no additional cost. Set yourself up for success <laughs> with objectives and automatic placement. This is the outro of your TV. BGTV, your outro is two minutes long. Okay, let me try and find the one where she's... Didn't she go face down in the bath, or am I making that up in my head? You just finished work? How are you doing, rat eyes? Almanac. Oh, she's still... She's still live. <gasps> I love BGTV, me too. He's very, very funny. 
Oh, I forget the woman he streams with, but she makes me cackle. Isn't that right? Yeah. Oh, they have a bird. They've got a bird. Oh, this more reminds me of my rant. Mate, it's been a day and I'm seriously exhausted. I'm so happy you're alive. Well, I'll be here for you for a bit longer. No worries. These birds love me. They know it. Isn't that what I'm going to do is, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to try and find the video I'm thinking of. And while we do that, may I rant? May I please? Please hand over the reins. Would you guys mind if I ranted about Anne Boleyn for just two minutes? Just two minutes. Oh, it's outside of there? Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> oh, Nova? Yeah, Nova. She's very, very funny. Um, yeah, would you guys mind if I just, if I ranted uh, Amberlynn for like two minutes? It's just going to be me talking, if you don't mind. Nova's a treasure. She's great, honestly. I love them both so much. Um... Okay, <clears throat> let me get on my <clears throat> my soapbox. <clears throat> so, monkey, thank you so much for the for the permission. So, Anne Boleyn, I this is my prediction. You heard it here first. There's 126 of you in here. 127. You heard it here first. We all know Anne Boleyn takes on the the personality traits and the likes and dislikes of her partners. I am predicting it now. Her next partner is a grunge slash gothic e girl. All right, I'm going more grungy. More grungy, right? But like cute grunge. Tell you that now. I'm saying that by the way, she it's not a sidebox, it's a mountain of plushies. I bought a plushie last night. I'm feeling very called out, Arrowin. How dare you? Shut your whore mouth. <laughs> it's not a soap box, it's an Amazon box. Um so my prediction is it's this soft, grungy girl vibe, right? I can tell that by the way she's currently dressing in her TikToks and like the inflection in the way she's replying to people that's my prediction you heard it here first when we see what she looks like and i'm right you can come back and you can praise me now on her story she posted let me get the photo up on my phone not on twitter i don't want my fucking thing to break let me do that she has to definitely more grunge yeah like soft grunge though like like tartan skirts or something right like no taylor butch taylor dean is she saying raw i wouldn't be surprised so let me go to the thing I posted. Let me see, see, see. I didn't post it, but... Okay, so... First off, this is unrelated, but someone asked her, are you a pillow princess? And she said, not at all. No, you're a pillow mountain princess. Bullshit, are you a pillow... Pr you're not a pillow princess. Says, Suck my dick. Suck my dick! <laughs> so this is what she posted. Her hand with tattoos and they're holding a very nice looking snake it's a snake that has the kind of oil slick coloring where under certain lights its scales look bluish purplish pink she posted that and then on her instagram it says i want and i'm assuming she's talking about the snake and not the tattoos where are you at milky i'm in the uk like where am i mentally where am i physically where am i emotionally uh physically in london emotionally borderline waiting for a doctor's appointment and uh spiritually i'm not quite sure yet <laughs> i don't know <laughs> so yeah she posted a photo of a snake saying i want right now if you don't know this about me I'm a, i was a snake owner for four or five years i had a bull python bull python along with corn snakes and hogna i consider what these snake breeds to have out of all of them right which is why i got my snake which is why i thought and this is definitely Python. it's just coloring the head i can't like guess what it is from look alone not a bull python uh so she posted that she wanted it so she doesn't need any more pets she doesn't do you know how hard after a snake again oh you had a burmese nice i miss my snake i miss my snake so much i loved my bull python i was so sad to get rid of it but i didn't have it i didn't really have a choice at the time i love python i can't see you oh no yeah it's just my little face thing i look kind of crappy today elaine you didn't want to see this trust me <laughs> so we're all borderline mood as someone who's had a snake for four years four or five years they're not and i had one of the easy right very very easy bull pythons in terms of snake are one of the easiest snakes right take into consideration everything you have to do for a bull python right just, I'm going to do a snake in general. 
going off by the snake in the picture that she posted that she she wants she wants it so bad that snake probably looks like one of the ones that would require any hum- some snakes need to be misted every single day to keep the humidity levels up so you have to not only do you have to deal with like the heat of the tank how hot it is you also have to deal with the humidity levels which are very hard to maintain it's hard to get that balance right especially as seasons change as well that's just something i found i could be wrong snakes are escape artists right Bull pythons in particular, I don't know roughly about other snakes, but they are escape artists. Even I've known snakes that have locks on their cages that can get out. And so you get that snake out, you get a snake in that house with them cats gone, deader than a door now. Are you joking? And I, I think my rule is when people get snakes, you should go in. My snake got out three times in four years and I was lucky. That wasn't even a lot of times. They need a good cage and enclosure. They need very special their respiratory systems uh it's a big hullabaloo over what type of bedding also if you should have climbing things in your enclosure if you shouldn't some need a uh a heating pad on the hot side of it so normally on like a snake tank half of them half of the tank is like more hotter than the other side they need like a bathing spot so you've got to get that right they need hides that they are comfortable in my rule is when getting a snake, you should assume you will never touch this snake. That way you're not going to be disappointed. You shouldn't get the snake with the idea in mind that you're going to be allowed to touch this snake, pick up this snake, and take pictures with this snake, right? So if you get the snake and think, I'm never going to be able to touch this snake, because some snakes you can't, they don't have the attitude for it, they don't have that, they just don't want to be touched, you're not going to be disappointed, right? You're going in with that assumption. They can't just be used for photos and put down again. Are you prepared, again, when getting a snake, you have to think of, hi, Aaron, you have to think, are you prepared to feed it either live baby mice, live rats, or live chicks? Because people are like, oh, you know, you could feed them frozen. Not necessarily. A lot of snakes are very picky. Again, I'm going off all pythons. They are notoriously picky. And a lot of snakes will refuse frozen food. If you manage to get a snake that doesn't, great. I was very lucky. My snake was extremely timid and didn't like having, um, even if I would like move the frozen food around, it would freak him out. He didn't want anything like that. He preferred his food frozen. I got very lucky. However, you should go with the assumption that you are going to have to feed your snake live chicks, live rats, or live mice. That way you're not going to be squeamed out or surprised when if your snake starts refusing food, you can't be surprised that you're going to have to feed them live. And she's not going to. You're telling me that this is this woman's going to keep, especially if you feed live, what a lot of people choose to do is have mice in a cage and they breed their own. I doubt she would, but they have mice ready to then give to the snake. Otherwise, you're going out every week to go pick up a live mouse. Either you keep the mice in your home and you look after the mice and you clean the mice out and you keep the mice not as a pet, but you look after them like a pet until they're ready to be eaten. Or you have to go out every single week, depending on how much your snake eats, and get mice, live mice, and bring them back and feed them. If your snake doesn't eat them, are you prepared to take the mice out of the cage? And what are you going to do with the mice then? Are you prepared? A lot of people have to brain, plus they can get bit by the mice. They can get bit by the mice. You have to watch them while they eat if you feed live, because they can bite the snakes. Because again, you've got to think they're living, they're in a cage. And so in the wild, they can move around and they can attack their prey in the way they want to. You can't really do that in an enclosure. Are you prepared to brain the food? So even if it's frozen or live, sometimes they need the smell of the blood. And so it's recommended that you brain the animal. I don't want to take into your mind what that means. You have to smash the skull in and like reveal some of the brain, like the inside of the animal to attract the snake, right? Are you willing to do that, Amberlyn? No, no, you're not. If the snake bites you, are you prepared to not flinch? Because it's really common for people to flinch. And when they flinch, they end up harming the snake by pulling on their fangs, right? It's just so much shit that she's not going to do. And it drives me nuts that she just says it so casually. And snakes, again, they can live up to 20 years. They're not like a fish. My snake preferred moving. This is horrible. I mean, I I got very, very lucky with my snake for my first snake as well. Uh, he loved frozen. He was very shy with food that would move. He didn't like it. I got very lucky. Um, he was a very good eater. Um, I never had to try and feed him live. I got so lucky. 
he didn't mind being picked up. I think he only ever hissed at me like two or three times in four years. And, well, not at me. He hissed at someone else, but that was their fault because they were being rough with him. Um, are you, they, got, they have to shed. Are you going to keep on track of his shedding? You have to make sure that the eye caps, so when snakes shed their skin, they shed skin that goes over their eyes as well. And so if you miss it and you don't notice that the cap is still on the eyes, it can lead to blindness because they can't see. Are you going to make sure that they shed right? And when they do, if they don't shed right, are you willing? Sometimes you have to give your snake a bath or help it soak or help remove the skin in a way that doesn't rip at the scales. She's a pet plushie, honestly. Like, it, I, again, like, get a snake, right? Get, like, I love snakes. I think they're great. I loved my snake. Your snake loved Frozen? What about Lion King? Haha, ha, you are very, very funny. And they get compacted? 100%. And, again, snakes shit. When snakes go to the bathroom, and you're going to Google it. Google snake feces. You're going to be... It looks like human poop. I'm sorry to say it. I was so shocked when my first snake did it. They... They, it looks like human poop and it can get massive depending on the size of the snake it looks it stinks because you got to think it sits under the um when you have an enclosure the enclosure needs a, like a ventilation that the snake can't get out of obviously for fresh air and then also it has a heat lamp on it right so the the shit bakes under the heat lamp it just bakes and it it smells so bad it's vile right i had to clean mine every single time the moment he did it because the snake lived in my bedroom and i wasn't going to deal with that i've got a very sensitive snoz snakes fart and they they smell they smell really bad they carry salmonella as well in their poop and obviously because they roll around on their but they don't have arms and legs to wash when you pick them up you gotta make sure you're washing your hands which i know Amberlynn doesn't do you're gonna get salmonella from your snake it's just it I just saw that post and it drove me nuts. And so someone asked her as well. Let me go to the replies I did. Someone showed me. Someone said, never in your 30 something years have you ever wanted to snake. Please don't get one. You're going to kill it. And she says, a snake was my first pet that I've ever had. Lamau. And I've always wanted another one. But I know that it wouldn't be responsible right now because I have three pets. I've even logged myself holding snakes. Even vlog with around my neck. It's not cuddling. Snakes don't cuddle. I've always loved snakes. Never in your 10 YouTube have you ever mentioned a snake. Am I wrong? Am I missing it? Am I missing an episode? Did I get confused? That's my rant. Don't. <laughs> Amberlynn. Like, just don't. They're so picky. and It's like, what happened to her first snake? Would love to know, Arowen. Because they do live for 20 years. So like, I'm so... I miss my snack. Uh, they can burn themselves on the heat lamp. They can. If you get a heating pad on the pad, it depends on what snake you get. It It's madness. I miss my snake so much. I loved my snake. Uh, Alan wants a snake. She does. Ironically, she's a snake, but, you know, whatever. But um, So, yeah, that's my soapbox. I don't know. I just wanted to... The first snake escaped and took itself to the vet. So see, they can live for 20 years. Ballpark, I'm pretty sure. And mine made it to four before I had to rehome him. So. Yeah. Madness. you got to get a special cleaner. Are you going to clean it properly? you got to clean the whole thing. Like all in the nooks and crannies. She won't clean under her nails. She just won't. You've got to check them for mites. It's a pain in the butt. That pain. They are. It's like, do you know people who have birds? They say you shouldn't get a bird if you love birds, right? Because they're just annoying. I want her, but they can live for years. Yeah, like, I follow this woman. She runs, like, a parrot rescue or something. And she's like, I love having birds. But they they are... It's something like you shouldn't get a, a bird if you love birds because you're not going to love them by the end of it, you know? You've got to accept the fact that it's going to be a very tumultuous relationship. It's not like a dog. You know, they're, they're very strong-minded. Okay, so that was my that was my soapbox. Thank you so much for listening to that. Uh, it was driving me nuts when I saw it. I don't know why. I don't know why I think I'm the queen of, of snakes, just because I've had one, but that's how I feel. So let me go back to Queen at Cobra. Where were we? Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go.
Oh, I'm dying for a cup of tea. I had birds. I do. I would love a bird, but I just, I don't think, I think it's a lot of, it's like kind of like, do you know rats? Like people get rats and don't realize you need three rats at least. And then a whole thing. I think her point was it was parrots specifically that they can be, you You shouldn't get a parrot with the assumption that the parrot's going to like sit on your shoulder and be your friend. They're very personal animals, if that makes sense. Yeah, the current bird is very different from my. First, so I'm clicking my finger now. My fingernails, my knuckles. I am gagging for a cup of tea. Okay, right. We've got a queen cobra video, and then I think we're done. Like I would love if I could keep a bird. I'd probably get pigeons. I really love. It. I know that sounds. Well, I would like a, magpies are my favorite animal, but you can't really keep magpies. British magpies, not Australian ones. The Australian ones are demons. I would love a magpie, but like. An actual bird that you can have as a pet. I love pigeons. I love pigeons so much. I, I love pigeons so fucking much. Yeah, parrots have can openers on their faces. Oh, their parakeet died because they were egg bound. Oh, that's so horrible. Get a house chicken. I would love. I would love a pigeon. I really love pigeons. I just think they're so sweet and they get such a bad rep. And I love feeding them. I just love them. I feel really bad. I cry when I see like pigeons with like really bad feet where they've been all fucked up and just... so I'm just drinking my water. Wow, my tab loads. Oh, this is a very cute profile. So this is from an account called Wizened Beef and it's like a cow with a little, little woods' hat on. I like this channel. Very cute. I don't know if that's AI it might not be i'm hoping not but it looks very cute right, let me head to the videos thank you wise and beef i will subscribe give me a memento por favor so yeah i'm off my soapbox sorry that was a big rambling rant where none of it made sense but you get the gist tldr don't get a cat uh, don't get a, a snake Do you know what? get rid of the cats too and the dog The cockatiels have been, yeah, they're like pigeons in Australia. Madness. Could you imagine? They're in zoos over here. They're in zoos. And yet in Australia, it's their equivalent of a pigeon. Uh, here we go. Uh, oh, you're friends with the crows. Love that. Okay. Share screen. Queen Cobra. So I'm just like doing little sips on the water. So if you hear like a glug sound, that's what it is. Whether it's me or someone else, uh, good for him. I hope Josh has the best whatever it was like. He doesn't have to pick me. I would literally rather you reject me in my heart than lie to me. So Josh can have who he wants because he's handsome and you're not going to trigger me so i hope josh and whoever have their most beautiful babies thank you and whoever can have their most beautiful babies because it's not going to be me because you fucking faggot niggers have been trolling me my whole fucking live stream so josh and whoever i hope you have the most beautiful babies congratulations because obviously it's not me because i'm too ugly thank you have a good day Oh, oh! Fucking faggot niggers have been. And I think there's like a stream bit where she says it over and over and over again. Adele, thank you for being a member for nine months. I offer no refunds, returns, or exchanges. But thank you so much, Tiara. She just said that of her full chest. Her full chest. Trolling me my whole fucking live stream so josh and whoever i hope you have the most beautiful babies congratulations because obviously it's not me because i'm too ugly thank you have a good day you said it on me
Oh, I think Willow just put a video out of the fight that she had. Another one. I was supposed to die in 2006. I had end-stage cancer. I he did just went say into a car mm -hmm. and I understood she that, that know. my purpose in this life wasn't... Willow, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to drop in just to see this video quickly. I hope you don't mind, Willow. Been subscribed a long time. I feel like hearing some family members screaming at each other Nothing horribly for an extended amount of time and, like, threatening each other. Hope you don't mind, Willow. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can find the video, Willow. Give, forgive me. Some time where they were um, telling her not to come back and everything. Because I never got around to it when all that was going down. So, I love Willow. I you know, wanted to see what that's all about. Um, is only a current update is uh, Josh is still owning his trolls' sad, pathetic lives uh, 16 hours Who got For people to keep up to date on this crap. So I'm just trying to see where the all of these clip from. Oh, it is from Wise and Beef. I was just over there, Willow. <laughs> I left it for here. Whether it's me or someone else. I love Willow. Isn't he getting back? Congratulations if you are. Milk one and kicked off. Woo! Ben chicken. Oh, now I want to draw a pigeon. You're telling me to hush. I didn't even do anything. I'm washing my face off. Yeah. Oh, we could watch that one. Yeah, I think I was. Oh, let's do it. Let's watch it. It's funny. You're telling me to hush. I didn't even do anything. I'm washing my face off. Oh, how could you? So if they got, if she got pregnant, that baby would come out blowing a 3.0 on a fucking breathalyzer at a day old. I saw Nero. We literally just read it. Madness. Oh, yeah. Headphone worn. Should I turn it down? Oh, my God. You got bluey themed recipes. Could you, like, hit me up with them? Because my sister's having a bluey themed birthday party for my niece this year. I'm very excited. The she water must... hasn't been on that long. What are you doing? I haven't done anything to you. Oh, I'll kick her in the face. Oh, nice. He's Why are you telling me to shut up? I didn't do anything. Oh. <laughs> Why are you telling me to stop? I didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> Committed. You're going to call the police and have me locked up because I'm washed. My mother's my never laid a hand on me, but I think this would have been the day she killed me. <laughs> Talking to you like what? Right, eyes, I'll send you some of the, the bluey stuff that I made. Don't come back. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm washing my face. What am I doing? Oh. I'd kick her down the stairs. What am I doing? You're. Why should I talk to you? I'm almost done with my fucking shower. What have I done to you? Every live, she's in the bathroom. I'm trying to watch my face. I think she's part squid. What have I done to you? It's my four-year-old niece would never. I'm trying to watch my face! Gosh, I wonder why why Josh got his apartment. I can't think why. Literally, if I get arrested, tell them it was Queen Cobra. It wasn't me. She needs tranquilizer. That's yesterday. I got the fucking thumbnail at the bottom. Sorry, please tell you, please tell your spouse. Massive apologies. Sorrow, thoughts, and prayers. Don't blame me. Oh, yeah, it was the pre-flight meltdown. 
Oh, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Now it's parking lot meltdown. She had a meltdown at the parking lot. I was going to get off early. This is going to be a quick dream. I love when the dad starts screaming at her. It's fucking hilarious. You have a love hate. He has a love hate relationship, don't we all? Oh, that, that wasn't my clip, Callie. It just cut off there. This is a good shit start. She doesn't really do a lot. No one fucking listens to me. Bali doesn't listen to me. You could Bali could ask you the same question five hundred times. She still won't hear one goddamn word you fucking tell her. Oh well, see, I don't hear Cash App going off, yeah, so no, right? I'm not buying Doritos. So. Yeah, the okay, Sorry about your luck. I've already got Cheetos and fucking Uts or Uts, save yourself. Turn around. Call it. That's plenty of chips. All right. No, don't you dare try to run me over. What do you mean? Because one, I don't want Doritos. And I don't have a man. He hasn't said Hold anything. Hold up for a minute. I'm trying to cash up you money for Doritos. Please, hamburger, Amy. Save your money. Cash up her for Doritos. being together. So can you please stop? Thank you. All right. I would very much appreciate that. Thank you. Don't tell me what's good for me. Cool. I don't care. I don't care. She looks like someone who like preps for the end of the world. She looks like a prepper, don't you think? Crime suppression, yeah. <laughs> That's a real... She really does look like a prepper. That's fucking hilarious. Psychology. Oh, here we go. I am telling you. Straightforward. People need to start taking me for my word. I do not want your alcohol money. If you send it to me, I will send it right back to you. Bullshit. Okay, sure. I don't think she's ever returned a dollar. Like. So listen to the words coming out of my mouth, please. Well, I don't even get cash apps like that anyways to give a refund. So <laughs> you act like I'm swimming in money. Okay, no, I'm like, not. Oh, I don't even get cash apps like that. Like, oh, like, oh, wouldn't it be weird if someone sent me a cash app? God, that'd be so weird. But if you give me money for a cooking stream, I will cancel it. So don't even fucking bother. Yeah, don't even try because I'll totally send the money back. Don't even bother. You're not listening, Miguel. You're not listening. Oh, yeah, go out to dinner by myself like the loser that I am. Yeah. Excuse me. As someone who does go out to dinner by herself, I'm, I find that very rude that you mean that that's, I'm, that I'm a loser. I like my own company. I know. Thank you. Thank you, Rat Eyes. Thank you. Happy embroidering. Oh, I need to get more yarn, man. I need to. I want to crochet more bunny rabbits. Yeah, no, she's backwards. That's the only explanation. She's very, very backwards. So I think is the best. I'll go to the cinema on my own. I'll go to the. I'll go. Yeah, well, I like it when I go out to care. dinner and I'm completely fucked. Ignored and not served at all. Ooh, I love sure. that. I like being almost invisible everywhere I go. Uh, that must be hard to do when you're screeching like a banshee. Yeah, same here, Patty. I love it. No, I don't need to make a fool out of myself going to dinner alone. All right. I can 
I'm gonna let you myself all okay, by myself. Fine. I don't need to go to a restaurant to do it. All right. I'm offended that you call me a loser. I'm not back. This is what you get, Walmart. That's it. I'm trying to tell you, all you're gonna get from me is Walmart. That's it. Why? What do they do? What are you punishing them for? Oh, bench, bench cam. If I went to the cinema, I'd go see movies by myself all the time. I got them for free. <laughs> Nothing you can do. Talk to the chat, I think. Nothing you can say is going to change anything. What's been done has been done. You're not listening. Or monsters in her head, I'm not quite sure. What happened? Why is she mad? What, not everyone's so confused. No one knows what's wrong. Does anyone know why she's mad? Hi, Fireflies. Really, people? Wow. I'm so confused. Why is she angry? Anytime, Patricia, my love. She's always mad. It must be exhausting. Yeah, let's get into another accident. I would love to see you people run that fucking stop sign. What do you mean another accident? There was already literally just an accident, and you guys want to try and pull another one? Fucking morons. What is she talking about? Fucking idiots. Like, I hit my head. That's what the chat says. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, look at the time difference. Wait. Day time. No, thank you. Two hours later. Or something. These hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> Two hours later. Night time. Hold on, where's Hold on? I guess she's gonna start screaming at Bison. What? Snoke took so much fucking food. I'm European. I only eat a piece of fucking lettuce every night. And I smoke a 20 pack of fucking cigarettes and, and drink a fucking gallon of fucking vodka piss apple juice every night. Yeah, what's up, bitch? Yeah. And I fuck my boyfriend upstairs for sexy time while I leave the YouTube on downstairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what's up, bitch. <laughs> Go fuck your mom in the ass! <laughs> Go fuck your mom in the ass! Fuck your mom in the ass! Make sure you do it the right way, bitch! That's no, I think. Oh! What? oh. Head fun warning. Ski, ski! Yeah, I need to turn that down. That's down right for me. Make sure you do it the right way! Why is she mad? Do we know? Sarah yeah, Quill, she'd fucking love it. She'd snort it. Does anyone know why she was mad? And and why she's sitting in the Am room I okay? Parting lot? I'm fine. When you got fucking cars screaming shit at you and then people it's yelling, really yeah. I'm fine. Why There's literally there, like, two cars screaming shit and then people out in the fucking open screaming stuff. So I'm allowed to do that too, right? It's a free fucking country, right? Yeah. The last time. Oh, wait, no. Actually, the Germans... The Germans got a hold of us, actually. So, Bali, Bali, where are you? Huh? Mother Fuhrer. <laughs> you fucking Mother Fuhrer, you. That's one of my little jokes, Mother like Fuhrer. Fuhrer. I don't say it too often because people will say things, but Mother Fuhrer instead of motherfucker. <laughs> Mother Fuhrer. That's the 
down under. Yeah, not Australia. I'm not talking about Australia. No, 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 no. God, that laugh, man. That'd be a, we're getting we're breaking up. Sorry, it's not a. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a red flag. Oh, people yell at me all the fucking time saying go KYS myself while they're in their fucking cars and stuff. Yeah. Well, there was a concert last year. Actually, um, I figured out what concert it was, but I, I doubt I doubt it happened. Thank I wish you. I knew the fucking name. But anyways, I was going for an exercise walk one night, and like the concert just let out, and some fucking bitches were screaming the nasty fucking shit at me. Why? Don't believe a word you're saying. What did I do to you? Don't believe what me. did I fucking do to you to be screaming the nastiest fucking shit at me? Oh shit attached to my fucking head everything all the interactions everything that i would literally upload every fucking thing i don't make nothing up yeah people yeah. say that nasty fucking shit to really. me and why because i'm exercising and you went to some like rock fucking whatever poison fucking 80s bullshit wannabe reviving into the 2020 fucking sh- yeah, what neighbors? There's no neighbors around here. I'm not. I'm if not I'm at like my house. Walmart, Thank I saw you, this crazy lady sitting Thanks there for, for hours. Trying. I'll be neighbors. Concerned. They give a fuck about these people. They literally live on the fucking back end of a fucking highway. You stupid ass bitch. <laughs> oh, my neighbors. <laughs> Who the fuck? Yeah, foil. Not no goddamn your mama shit, because your mama don't even know how to fucking live stream worth a, a horizontal fucking viewpoint. Well, I'm not, I don't have the horizontal right now, but, <laughs> you know, when I can do horizontal, I do. But your mama doesn't even know how to use a goddamn GoPro. And you think when your mama is in fucking vacation, people want to hear about drama shit? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ! If I was your mama's wife, I'd already divorce that fucking bitch ass. Oh, they, oh, yeah, but he's married. You're not. He is dumb as fuck, bro. You can see my daily interactions with the human world, and see how fucking people treat me on a goddamn fucking oh, daily basis. How about that? Shut the fuck up and suck your dick, bitch. Go remove a few ribs so you can reach down when your wife can't suck it for you. Because you're too busy on the fucking YouTubes. Do- Isn't that what Josh was doing when you were there? He was beating his meat to some chatterbait girl. Right? Well, girl world what drama. When your mi- your wife probably wants to get dicked down, you little retard. Ooh. <laughs> so aggressive, honestly. <laughs> I feel like someone tried to give her a sample, like, at Costco, upset by it. Guys, I did mod him. I, I was honestly thinking about that on, I could no. Oh, oh, before the hello from Japan. Oh, please arrive. Okay. What's not a good look? Oh, what's not a good look? Bitch. Suck my dick, bitch. Which is such a. Where did your hand go in? What are you doing? Why should you put my trousers down? Suck my dick. Suck it. She's put my trousers down. Oh, before the police arrive. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Shipping in public? What am I doing? Oh. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I've got family. If they hear this coming from my room. What am I doing? Sorry, I'm kind of in shock. <laughs> Has she not peed in two hours? I'd have to pee. Okay, you you are not the first one to call me mobility. So you literally want me to get hit by a car and die. Well, okay, no one you. said that. <laughs> I honestly hope that is what happens to me. And hits me and I die. You're, you're fucking absolutely right. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. 
Oh, mind you, mind you, That's Kristen. Really pop. After you said bye. Like you, not even like, not even like, with like one of those penises that like is within itself that is like so small. Even when it's hard, it's like, like when it gets hard, it's literally like the size of your fucking pinky. Actually, less than your pinky. And it's like, what, what are you trying to there? suck here? Are you trying to suck that? Like, is it gonna grow or not? Like, ew, is that... Kristen, no. Not her penis shaming. Shit. All right. So somebody get rid of her, all right? I don't like her. This stuff Kay sends in the chat. Oh, she got blocked. Oh, bye, stuff. Bye, bye Christian. Oh, you said what? I know what you said. You said bye. Bye. Well, no, someone said bye. I know what you said. So come back on one of your little alts or fucking Instagram message me your fucking two secret alt accounts and maybe I'll unblock one of them for you to talk shit. Yeah, how about that? Otherwise, bye. 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 How is my day going? Oh. Uh -uh. That's a nice I never question. asked to be born, sweetheart. I never asked to be born. I don't have a day. I don't have a... I just exist in this shit fucking world. Don't we within the shit winds, the shit abyss, the whatever the fuck Shit all. winds. <laughs> oh, yeah. my oh, mic. Oh, my God. Pterodactyl. Oh, I swear to God. The dong out there. Shut pterodactyl. Up. Little fast food thing it came from. <laughs> too <laughs> this is too familiar or something these hoes ain't loyal <laughs> yeah he doesn't fucking like me okay thank you like let's quit lying to people and start like telling the truth thank you that's what i appreciate oh my god no he didn't shut up um you're lying. I can't stand people fucking lying to me. I can't stand No, it. I know now. I agree with you. Put down the pipe. Pick it up. I think the crack would cheer, like, chill her out. I think it would help her at this point, actually. Oh, she lost her monetized channel? Is that what this is about? Well... <laughs> The Blair Witch Project. Look at her in a hood. I know that hood smells nasty. Yeah, go fuck your mom in the ass. <laughs> I know I'm ugly. I know I'm ugly as fuck. If he doesn't like me, cool. Then he can literally tell me that and quit wasting my time and embarrassing the fuck out of me. All right? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. What do you want an outfit check? <laughs> Walk that wrong way, mama. Black shoes, gray socks, fucking thermal underwear, fucking my Eddie Bauer fucking pants that are not skinny jeans, you fucking dumbass, fucking mentally deficient, obtuse, goddamn summer child, fucking Bianca, you be wah wah, stupid ass, fucking moron, bitch. These aren't skinny jeans when you're size 14, you little fucking moron. These pants are way too big on me now. I can literally fit into my skinny jeans. Okay, I'm like 150 pounds to 155. These okay. pants are way too big for me, you little biwahwa who needs to be fucking euthanized. <laughs> You you need to be euthanized at the shelter. Thank you. No one wants to save your little fucking stupid ass when you look like an AI fucking catfish filter. When you look like you literally have fucking Down syndrome, you fucking bitch. And oh, you fucking no. fuck married men. You fuck married men. You fucking whore. You shouldn't say that about Down. You fuck married men. You little bitch. And you got the nerve to talk shit on me. 
Why are you mad? At least married men want to touch her. Why are you mad? You got no to talk shit. I made fucking bags when you fuck fucking married men. If I saw you this in the world, if I saw this in the world, I'd, my partner would be dragging me you across the road. Fucking home wrecker, fucking bitch. Be Have you been euthanized I... yet? Because nobody wants your fucking chihuahua fucking ass. <laughs> Chihuahuas do too. Oh, the cops haven't rolled up. She's been there for like three hours. Oh, blondie. Nobody oh, wants your chihuahua is. fucking looking ass, bitch. And I fucking love chihuahuas. So don't take that on my fucking dog, Pookie. Rest in peace. Bless her fucking soul. Goddamn fucking east of 2009. I love my fucking dog. She loved me more than any fucking You let that dog human. get peanut butter off you, didn't you? That blondie, that whole line should just go for all the girl world. And on this fucking piece of shit end. fucking plan ever fucking could. I miss my dog. It's worse than Josh. I really do. And all the traumatic shit I've been fucking put through. Fuck all of you. Whose car is this? It's not hers, right? Do I look like I'm okay? Do I look like I'm okay? No, I'm oh, fucking okay. not. Never mind. Go, go home. Oh, Kobe's in the Do car. I look like I'm okay? He's chatting and he's putting the chat, babe. We need to talk. What's when I tell you the truth, none of y'all want to suck that cum down like the truth serum that it is. I try to tell you the truth. Y'all can't handle the truth. She's the reason aliens don't visit us, you know. Integrity, morals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm, I know. You'd rather fucking suck down fucking 12 gallons of fucking lies than one fucking little spurt of fucking cum that is fucking real. Fuck. So she doesn't, she's mad because he won't eat her cum? What? <laughs> Pardon? Fuck you. Pardon? Come again. Oh, you're worried about me. Shut up. <laughs> so you have nothing to be worried about. Oh, yeah, no, there's no cause for concern. How has she not had an aneurysm? If I get this stress, I can't. <laughs> I'm not built for it. That's not fucking Cobra. He's got a fucking mod in my chat. That's not fucking him. Oh. If he was, if he gave a goddamn fuck or whatever the fuck about me, he'd be in here and he's not in here. Okay, so leave me alone. You he's not in my chat. chat. If she's a helium balloon, I think she'd go silent. I think only dogs would hear her if she did helium. Yeah, he has a wrench, you guys, and you fucking morons think I've honestly wrenched the wrong person. Literally. 2022. Fucking like 99.9% .9 fucking retard, but I'm not fucking fully 100% fucking dumb. <laughs> Thank you. But I didn't. Just my God. If you like this content, you should subscribe to more. Shut up. <laughs> he said that in that chat. He doesn't care about me, all right? If he would, then he would say something about me. He doesn't say anything about me. He doesn't give a fuck about me. I'm too ugly for him. I'm not God. Even if I like typo negative dancing, and it's not dancing, it's Danzig. Um, what is she saying? Is she speaking English? It, it doesn't fucking matter what the fuck I like. I like all types of music. It, it doesn't fucking matter if I rock his fucking world. I give him everything. Yeah, he wants I, in some desires desires way, I'd want to watch. <laughs> in some really fucked up, twisted shit, I'm curious. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm too oh, ugly. Yeah, you feel it. That. Just tell me I'm too ugly enough. I've been told that my whole life. You're too ugly. No man will ever want you. No man will ever want to marry you. I think it's because you're ugly. I don't think that really plays into the top ten reasons. I hope that she says something stupid to the wrong person. She's going to lose her teeth. Get my face by people. Don't lose teeth. And she can't afford to get them fixed. You, you people don't know what the fuck I've been through in my fucking life. Fuck all of you. I can't do you. You don't know that in my first virginity was taken by a fucking pedophile. Fuck all of you. Who? Who'd you fuck about me when a pedophile was fucking 
me. Nobody. Not a single fucking oh. school. Fuck all of you. Nobody gave oh, okay. a fuck about me. And nobody ever has. Everybody in my life has fucking abandoned me. That really sounds like Everybody something that should be unpacked. Yeah. Like, safe. Me. I hate all of you. Should that be a oh, oh. Well, should be unpacked somewhere safe? I fucking hate you. With no alcohol. Oh. Hi, Luma. Welcome to Walmart. Get <laughs> <Your> phone. <laughs> Have the parents you live with abandoned you? Honestly. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, wait till your, f your daughter gets raped her ass and then she fucking has a fucking um, pregnancy as well. Oh, yeah, you'll be laughing at that, you little fucking bundle of sticks. Oh, well, this you'll be a fucking of laughing at that! Okay. Oh, you'll be fucking Fuck you! I think she's sober, which is even scarier. No, you need some therapy. Oof, and a pup coming in with the facts. Yeah, when you hear your own fucking mother crying about pedophiles when you were literally being sucked by one, fuck you, bitch! Fuck you! Oh, that, maybe that's why they let her live with her, because they feel guilty, maybe? I'd be scared to go back to my car. I'd want to be, I'd want a chaperone. To walk past her. Oh, laugh my ass off. I hope you get fucking raped, bitch. I oh, hope you get oh. raped. Oh. Oh, what if the cops show up? Oh! <laughs> oh, the cops show up. oh, you think it can't Now I don't think it's real. Your... Now I think she's lying because anyone who has gone through that would never say that, right? Any who's ever gone through something like that would never wish it on anyone else. It's the same way I don't think Chantel was as abused as badly as she made it out to be because she wished it on Dee Dee, right? I'm beginning to suspect this woman may be slightly unhinged. Lucy, please, if you could provide evidence before making that kind of statement. Yeah, I'd want to Fucking chaperone. street? Try to fucking find me, bitch! Try to fucking find me, you fucking, ass, well, fucking retard ass. Home box of thoughts and prayers. Thank you for the warning, though, Blondie. It's appreciated. You do a lot of work here. I very, I very much appreciate you. You, you were my first mod. We'll oh, mod. you don't think I've already fucking run from the fucking police? Yeah, the fuck I have, bitch. I've got fucking goddamn photo proof evidence of running from the police <laughs> since I was like it. whatever age I was, bitch. <laughs> The police threatened. <laughs> was moaning, which was, ah, the police are chasing me. me it sounds was... like a sketch from Erg. Uh, do you know with Trixie and Katya? Like a bit, not the other stuff, obviously. I I would need if I was in that Walmart, I'd want a chaperone to my car. Thirteen years old, you little fucking retard, fucking moron, bitch. Stupid ass fucking gutter slut whore bitch. You should have been aborted. Your, your father should have drank time. pineapple juice and your I mother should have drank your little pina colada you fucking ass, you little retard fucking whore. Well, this is being demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, ads. I hardly knew you. It was nice while it lasted. I'm not going home. I don't want to go home. I'm I, not going you know, home. I'm you don't tell me what the fuck to do. Just like Josh, you don't tell me what the fuck to do. Do not fucking tell me what the fuck to do. You're not going to tell me what the fuck to do. Thank you. Okay, we're near the end. Let's skip. Oh, what are you, my mother? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you don't tell me what the fuck to do. Well, wasn't that something? That was definitely something. Um, but not being told to do is going swimmingly. You know what? You seem to know what's best for yourself. Um, oh, I'd pan up. If I lived near her, I'd be at my window with a cup of tea and a book and a fucking camera watching the entertainment. Truly, well, thank you guys so much for being here. This was going to be like a 30 minute stream. Here we are, two and a half hours later. I've had so much fun. This has been so cool. 
I'm working on a sneaky little project. I'm very excited to show you. And hopefully I'll have some recorded videos out this week. I think I'm going to share Phil's journey from Kuwait to Canada. I know I already did it in a live, but I kind of want to do a recorded video, video version also. I'm excited to show you all. Thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. You guys have been amazing. That was a lot. Uh, I hope the warnings were sufficient enough at the beginning. Uh, if not, I apologise. I'll try and do better next time. Oh, Lucy, I'm glad you're home safe. Thank you. So I suggest uh, maybe if you have a craft you all like doing, go and do that. Maybe take a drink, uh, a moment, some fresh air, something that was very rough. I'm going to go get a nice cup of tea. I'm going to do some breathing. I might do some yoga tonight because I think I need it after that. Thank you, Kalari. Have you here? I've admired you from afar within the communities before I started my channel. It's nice to have you. Thank you guys so much. Same with Snarky. Thank you, Poppy. You guys have been great. You've been you. I've been Milky. I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, Ben. Well, Ben, thank you so much for your sacrifice. Truly. <laughs> I liked you and I thank you. Have a good one, guys. Bye.